I don't have any music up at the moment, I don't think. Oh, because they took it down or something? Yeah, so, uh, as you guys know, or may have already learned, uh, you know, they severely limited all the music you can use in your games now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I had used to have, like, a bunch of tracks and, like, I've lost everything. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much lost everything. Uh, I have, like, maybe one or two tracks here that are still viable. So I guess we'll just use those for now uh, until maybe they can figure something out. kind of sucks. Yeah. It's that happened to me, shit. too. Shit happened. Yeah. I don't even think you guys can hear anything at the moment, right? I do nope. not hear anything. I hear something. Uh, it's, like, super, super low, but... That's fine. It's just a little bit of background noise. Uh, okay, so um, wow, you guys have done a lot. Uh, so who wants to recap for a free uh, inspiration token? <clears throat> Anyone? Takers? Okay. Or do we want to talk about anything before we get started? I, do a recap. I could do a recap too, but you have you are ready. I am not ready. Go, you go for it. <laughs> um. I do somewhat of a recap. Uh, so uh, we we began um, in the hallway where we had gone to the north of like that main room with all the giant statues in it. Um, we had gone down this hallway and a ball had begun rolling down towards us. And uh, in the hallway was Kareem, Zorana, and Thornbur. Uh, Belfrian had kind of ducked off into one of the side rooms. And as the ball came down, a gate slammed and split Belfrian off from the rest of the party. Uh, the ball slid down, messed some of us up, and then was caught by a giant statue that then pushed it back up. Um, that statue then began walking back down and we kind of weren't sure if it was going to fight us or not i think we might have tried to like throw some spells at it or attack it or something but it ended up just walking right past us and going back to the beginning if i remember correctly uh meanwhile belfrian was stuck uh fighting some spiders and we learned that we had to dispel the magic and we dispelled the magic from the door and went on in to help him. Uh, and after we had gotten rid of those uh, spiders, we went, we followed their tunnels out front of temple, uh, the eye of the all father. And we saw Zephros's tower down at the bottom of the crevasse. Uh, at which point we were sad and then went back inside. Oh, we almost um, deviated. We were this close yeah. to <laughs> deviating. We almost, we almost went Again. off the path, but I think uh, we were kept on track by Emin and, and uh, Balabar. We said, we don't know that guy. Let's just keep going. Uh, Let's go down for a cup of tea, you know? It's great. <laughs> So we went back in and we went up, there was some stairs up to the second floor. Um, and up there we found uh, a woman who was part of the Great Worm tribe. Um, and Kareem kind of like grabbed her and we were questioning her. She talked about her the leader Wormblood. Um, I can't really remember if she said anything of value. <laughs> I think she told you guys that uh, uh, they were here to look for her, or something like that. Or she was scouting. Yeah, her. that's she right. That's scouting, right. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So, and that's where we left off. If I, that's where my notes end. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's already uh, at this point. I think gone. Um, and we you guys did explore were... like a second floor when we went back with the woman. And yeah, we let like her leave, and ice. I think we we told we told her to tell Harshnag that she's cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Yeah. All right, cool. So you got your inspiration token there. Thank you for giving the recap. Um, <clears throat> so 
I'll put you guys back into the main room. Everything is as you left it before. Uh, the air is still frosty and cold in here. But you notice that uh, the, there's some distinct difference. You see that some of the ice um, and the room temperature overall seems a little bit warmer. And that some of the ice, you see that there are pools or just the beginning remnants of, of um, melted ice and pools around the perimeter of the room and around some of the statues as well. Like they're melting. Like the frost and everything is melting. Yeah. To be very clear. Um, so uh, all of the statues have their weapons. So you guys should have that. Mm -hmm. uh, the archway is... Um, it's it's a very very large tall archway and it's got each of the giant symbols kind of like in an arch pattern around it six of them right mm -hmm. um, and those are inlaid with mithril but otherwise it's just like marbled stone and nothing is different about the archway than when you left it before and to your knowledge you've explored everything there is to explore in this area so far because I assume those other double doors just go back into that same room, same with down here. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least the uh, statues are melting. We're making some progress. Could have been because of something with spiders? Mm. But if something's melting, it, nothing else is cracking anymore either, so... The no more hitting things. You've uh, decided on that. <laughs> That's correct, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? No more hitting things. That's a good idea. <laughs> if you insist. Oh, let's think of something else to do then. Please don't hit more things. Would be nice. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, I'll... Is there anything... Is there anything else made of mithril in the room? Is there anything else made of mithril in the room? That's a very good question. Um, let me check. I believe that one of the weapons is actually fashioned in mithril. Um, so you learned that each of the statues has a removable weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, because you were able to, I think, spin one of them in place in the giant's hands. And then also the, the, the Thrym axe... Right, the axe that belongs to Thrym, the god of the frost giants, uh, you were able to retrieve that from the other room and then put it into Thrym's hands. You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. So I just uh, need to c look at my notes here uh, in yeah. regard to uh, which which is the weapon that actually is made out of mithril. Um, if I can find it. <laughs> so it looks it looks like. But... Yeah, it looks like Memnor, uh, which is the the god of the cloud giants, uh, has a mithril spear. Well, it could be possible that they spear. have the wrong weapons, and we need to switch their weapons, maybe. Because um, the, the thing from the front that we read, or no, it wasn't the thing from the front. There was someone who told us. We figured out what weapons go to who, and they were correct. That's correct. From what we know. All right. Susan speaks the truth. So Ooh. they each have their weapons. The only thing I can think of is the way that they're arranged on the archway, and the way that they're arranged in the room, but I don't really see us being able to move the statues. They are probably... Yeah, I mean... It was hard enough to move the weapons. <clears throat> Too big. The only thing left is for us to prove ourselves to the statue or to the god. Oh, yeah. I'll start flexing. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> straighten up my back. Yeah. So if, if I recall, oh, sure. you did already try to move the statues, but they did not budge. The only thing you found that actually was movable were the, uh, the weapons themselves. In fact, uh, Memnor kind of holds the spear in such a way that uh you know the butt of the spear is kind of like touching the floor mm -hmm. so you you can actually uh like grab it with your hands and kind of twist it and you do notice that it does move 
Can I take it out? Is it too big? Uh, so we, it's ginormous. I've asked that before. Yeah. 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 You can. You can. Uh, someone very strong or with incredible magic, <laughs> ring of telekinesis, uh, that you retrieve <laughs> from the eye of frost can remove it. Uh, how did we get that weapon in? Was it that ring? Yep. That's you correct. Had, yes. Is that you, Balabar? You got that ring. That was me. You want to try and uh, move any of these weapons? Like maybe like hit them against their runes on the door or something. <laughs> um, okay, if that's what you want me to try, I'll try that. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Seems like something. I'll take um, uh, Memnors and hit the is it the sky rune, the proper rune. You probably don't have to hit it. You could probably just touch yeah. it. Yeah. I don't mean I'm slamming it into oh, yeah, it or anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that's probably a better idea. Uh, so Memnor is the uh, the cloud uh, the cloud giant cod. Uh, you're gonna use the ring of telekinesis to essentially slip the mithril spear out of his hands. Is that right? Yeah. And then you're touching the spear to which rune? I believe his rune was the sky. <clears throat> okay. Um, when you do that. Uh, something happens. Suddenly you see um, that all of you grip your heads for an instant and you realize that you're in a different place. When you look up, um, just as after a short, brief moment of like disorientation, you what you see is a, a giant multifaceted black obsidian stone, um, easily like 10, maybe 12 feet tall. Um, Thornburg, you instantly recognize it. Uh, because it's covered, uh, despite it looking like it's made out of obsidian, uh, it's covered in, in runes. Uh, runes that you are familiar with because you have grown up in a place where you remember this stone for most of your life. It is it is the Nightstone of Nightstone. Um, and what you see is that um, it's essentially erected in kind of like this very dark, dingy room. And you're trying to get your bearings, everybody. And everybody's all together. You can see your friends all around you. Um, the air is very crisp and cold. You can f see your breath, um, the the chill on your cheeks. Uh, you can you notice that you're in a very dingy, dark room, almost like a uh, a dungeon of some sort. But it's enormous. I mean, so so big that uh, just on the edges of your vision, can you make out like what looks to be like the ceiling, and um, what you notice is that the nightstone itself lies in the center of what appears to be kind of like a uh, like a circular, almost like fountain-like structure. And um, opposite of where you guys stand, um, on the other side of the room, in a, in a way that you can still see it, uh, you can you notice that there is a a dragon there. Uh, a dragon whose skin appears to be almost like a coppery bronze. You notice that the dragon looks like it's uh, in immense pain because there are chains that are binding it to the ground. Uh, and these chains, they look like they're, they're sparkly silver um, and they're, they have spikes on them and they're digging into the dragon scales. You notice that the dragon, however, is fixated on the stone does not take its eyes off of it. Even though it has a grimace of pain on it, the dragon doesn't make a single sound. Its eyes are just staring directly at the stone, uh, and it seems to be uh, like enthralled by it, like dominated completely by it. Is it breathing? Is it it's alive? breathing. It's breathing. Okay. It's still alive. Uh, the and we're in a totally... Suddenly... Are we in like a room or are we just in like, like what you're is in, the space you're, you're, around us? You're it? in a very large uh, dungeon-like room, but the air is really cold. And as you're looking around, you can see that there are windows, which seems very unusual for, you, for to you because you definitely appear to be in some sort of like ruined dungeon type of room, but it's enormous. Looking outside the windows, you can see the faint wisps of clouds. This and as you guys uh, are, are looking around, uh, you realize that, oh shit, did we just teleport somewhere or something? And you're not really sure. And then suddenly uh, that disorientation feeling comes over all of you again. 
before you're even able to do anything about it, because you're just looking around the room trying to get your bearings, and then the vision dies, and you find yourself back in this room with the statue of Anam and the other giant gods. And uh, Balabar, with his ring of telekinesis, is still holding the mithril spear, but this time, the difference is, is that the mithril room that uh, symbolizes sky on the archway is lit up and bright, uh, bright silvery white. Hmm. It must have just been some kind of vision or illusion, obviously. You saw that too? Oh, fuck. I thought, whoa. Yeah, I was about to start running whoa. up to the dragon. I'll put the spear back. Uh, all right, which one do we want to do next? Hey, dealer's choice, man. I forget which rune each of these are. I just remembered the sky one. Does I I know you had Hawk no. Hawk is Rana. hill. All right, I'll do the the hill giant's weapon and put it to the hog. Uh, hill giant's weapon. You put it to the, the hog rune. Boulder, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So you you pull it out of its grip. Uh, it looks like a bone great club. It's um, roughly about 500 pounds. You put it to the hog rune. And then um, <laughs> what you what you hear suddenly is a loud reverberating voice in, in, in that kind of old wisdomy, uh, like grandfather's voice that says, eat. And before you, in front of the archway, what you see is a wagon. Uh, a, a, a wagon that's easily about 10 feet long. And it's loaded with a cornucopia and a smorgasbord of food. Um, and literally standing on top of all that is a live sheep. <laughs> yeah, it goes meh. <laughs> the rune that represents hog is not lit. Huh. Uh, somebody eat that. Eat what? Eat the, sheep? the sheep? Yeah, get on that. Let's. Yeah. Go eat that. Bah. Wait. I'm not going to. Are you I can, sure? I can shoot the sheep. We all heard the voice say eat, right? I'm uh -huh. not eat delusional on that. I walk so up and start eating food. Okay. <laughs> Is there any all right. Just, I'll eat some bacon. I mean. So it looks like a variety of food. You see some 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 uh, boiled goose. Uh, you see like a cornucopia of vegetables and fruits. Uh, you're looking for bacon. You don't even know where to start because it's like a wagon so full of foodstuffs. <laughs> As Aaron walks up, he he just grabs an apple and he starts eating away. Um, it's gonna take you guys some time to eat all this. All right, Winter, are you but, hungry? But it is but it is possible. <laughs> Guess we gotta get started. Uh, what uh, the we eat the, the sheep? sheep? The sheep kind of hops down off of the the mound of food and then just like, you know, kind of tucks its legs under it and just goes back. Come on, Green, eat that. As it's kneeling there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was never a big fan of lamb. I think it tastes a little dry. I mean, well, it depends uh, on how you prepare it. How do the um, how does the food taste? Uh, so the food tastes uh, awesome. Actually, it tastes it tastes completely edible, fresh. Um, you don't see any rotted food among the things here. It's just a ton of it. It's a lot. It, it is a literal ton of food. Uh, there's no and way any one of us could do this. We're gonna have to all eat some food. So let's start eating. <laughs> Yeah, and it may and it may Idiot. take you hours. Oh. Well. Wait, what if we like cheat and burn it instead of eat it? Mm. No, what if we eat the not. lamb? It's not a good idea. Sheep. That's what I said from the get go. Go eat that. Well. Should we prepare it? I feel. What a hill giant! No, just start chewing on it. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah, I don't think uh, you could get pretty sick of the raw I mean, sheep. I could kill it and skin it and cook it. Not a problem. <laughs> but maybe they wants the sheep to eat. Sheep to eat the food. Yeah, I mean it's livestock. Why not? Right. I start feeding the sheep with the food. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Um, are you grabbing? <laughs> yep, whatever. Sheep food? Because <laughs> it all looks like human fruit. Fruit? You said there's uh, fruit, though. Right? Yeah, there's, there's some fruit. I don't know what sheep uh, yeah, so you, you grab something sheep you think grass. the sheep would eat, like some, um, you know, like a little basket full of blueberries, Lettuce and uh, yeah, you put you you start actually feeding the sheep some of it, and he he's eating it or she, can't really tell. Um, <laughs> but he's just kind of nibbling on it. You don't think that the sheep's gonna like be done anytime soon. This could take forever. <laughs> and are, are we in a dungeon again? No, you're in the you're in this room with the statues. Oh, oh this just appeared wait. in this room. This wagon literally appeared in, in front her. of the archway. Yeah, so imagine oh. right like right here where I'm pinging on the map. That's where it is. Oh, so this I is mean, not an illusion at all. Okay. Maybe each of these this is, things. This is not an illusion. You're here, and the archway uh, that has the hog room uh, is is not, not lit. The only room that's currently lit is the sky room. I'm yeah. assuming that each one of these weapons, them. each each of these weapons is some kind of trial, maybe, and so this trial is eating food. Well, it is a hill giant. It is the right. Gluttony. Well, it's delicious. So I'm just like watching. I'll talk about in. it as I'm eating like vegetables. I guess when we're when we're finished, then the rune will light up. I'm assuming. That's the assumption. Right. Well, let's do it. Here you go, Winterhead. Some carrots. Yeah, Winter will put that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> like some sausages? <laughs> I guess uh, we eat. eat sausages. <laughs> I'll eat sausages. We kill this thing and eat it? We'll get to sure. that. So you're, you're going to get to that? In the meantime, you're munching on it. Uh, so is that all you guys are doing is, is eating? I guess. I said eat. All right. Not any more complicated. I mean, I'll put the weapon back <laughs> instead of having it hover over me the whole time. Sure, sure. Yeah, you can do that. No problem. Eh, hey, while we're eating, I'll have another weapon and touch it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which which weapon? Maybe we'll get more food. Um, what was the the one above Sky? What one? Uh, was that, that is Ill, the, the fire rune. All right, fire giant weapon it is. Okay. Um, so as as all of you or either have like maybe a turkey drumstick or or a banana or some other you know uh, piece of food in your hands and you're chewing on it, uh, you get a sudden disorienting feeling again. Uh, this time you are standing in what looks to be uh, like a huge fiery furnace type of place. You see an enormous forge. Uh, the heat in this uh, very, very large room is, is unbearable. In fact, the room is so large that it, it, it literally towers hundreds of feet above you. Um, you want, from what you could tell, you seem to be in some sort of cavern, uh, except you can hear the pounding of hammers on anvils uh, and the chanting of what sounds to be dwarvish in the background. Uh, like I said, it's, the heat's so unbearable here, you can actually see flecks of ash in the air. Um, and and literally a river of, of lava or some sort of liquid uh, metal streaming through the center of this large, enormous room. And over the stream of, of lava, you can see what looks to be these dwarvish-made uh, stone bridges. Um, and there's pools of like magma-like light that are in these uh, torches, these stone torches all over the cavern. However... Uh, from what you could tell, uh, th there is something that stands out to you here in that at the end, uh, from what you can see, there is a, a, uh, a sort of like a scaffold that is built around this enormous, literally a hundred or maybe even taller than that, golem uh, made out of some sort of metal. It's, it's incredible to look at. I mean, you, know, you guys are just staring at it, and it's the biggest... Uh, automaton you've ever seen in your entire life something that clearly would take you know years maybe decades to make and somebody with an incredible amount of engineering skill would have to be in charge of that um, and from what you could tell uh, the go the golem is covered in what looks to be these uh, images or, or sort of like scroll work uh, images of itself fighting dragons 
and literally like destroying them like you see one image of the golem is it ripping the head off of a dragon another image it's like giving a pile driver to a dragon uh breaking a dragon over its knee and things like that <laughs> so so uh that th must be that giant construct that they were trying to build with that giant vibrating not a dildo dildo Correct, right. That's that's you're the first thought that comes to your heads. And like before, like the image that you saw, the vision that you saw when you went to the the sky rune, uh, this one also has your your friends like literally near you. And as you're standing around trying to get your bearing and take everything in, you can see on the floor in front of you, there is a single um, iron flask. Uh, the iron flask is, seems kind of strangely unremarkable but at the same time you get this impression that there is a great great power within it something that is is trapped within and as you're looking at it you can see it start to vibrate and start to glow with an inner red glow like a, a fire pulled out of a hot forge and uh and then suddenly it bursts open and then out of it, just swallowing you instantly, you see an enormous, enormous, I mean like bigger or as big as the golem itself, fire elemental. And then snap, you're brought back to reality. You're in the room with the Hanam and his, uh, the statues of his sons again. Dang it, I was trying to heat up my chicken drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> Is the moon lit? <laughs> Yes, and the rune, the ild rune, is lit. Is there still all the food sitting there? Yes. Oh, shit. That was Von and Don. Do you think that, that was, was real or just like a vision? Like, 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 were we seeing something that wasn't happening or were we seeing something that was happening? it's kind of hard to tell i mean it could be a vision of the future it could be a vision of the past um it definitely seemed real because you could feel the heat mm -hmm. it wasn't like a dream that didn't really i mean it didn't make sense but uh like unlike a dream you know it, you remember it all because you just were there um it doesn't feel like you just woke up uh, so, I mean, it was as real as it could be for a vision that you just got. I wonder what that means. They're totally building Von and Dodd. Shit's gonna get fucked up. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, keep going, or do you want to keep eating and make sure that lights up first? Mm. I mean, mm. if we if we, as long as we keep coming back, I guess it's not gonna hurt. We don't know if that's yeah. the case. <laughs> if if it's gonna the risk. pile up a second wagon, and then we're gonna be like, uh oh, we just finished this wagon. No wait. Would that be better or worse if we got to have both wagon wagons at once? Now, but yeah, because if we just were barely finishing one wagon and then we got a second wagon, you'd be like, ah, fuck. Why didn't no one tell us it was a second wagon of food to eat? Man, this so wagon looks right. no emptier than when we started. <laughs> I, like, I wish we could get the food to Harsnag, have him eat it. True. Oh, yeah. We could probably eat handfuls at once. I wouldn't prove ourselves though. We gotta prove ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Dig in. I, 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 dude, I'm, I'm double Wait, fisting over here. Look at Winter. Winter's just like, got his head stuffed in the food in the wagon. <laughs> Chicken through it. <laughs> There's food uh, What's on the floor. Uvar? Uvar is storm. All right. Seems like the storm giant weapon is gonna be. Touching that. Okay. Uh, so when you grab the uh, the storm giant weapon, you touch it to the Uvar room. It is a uh, adamantine trident, uh, several hundred pounds, obviously. Uh, suddenly, you are treated to another disorienting vision. This time, you appear to be in some sort of. Uh, uh, you feel first an immense pressure. Your ears all pop, uh, as if you are. 
um, under some sort of great weight. You can hear that there's a faint sound as if you're under the the breath of the ocean itself. Um, there's windows in the room, but swimming past the windows, you can see that there are a variety of marine life. And in the room itself, it almost looks like a royal, uh, some sort of throne room. Um, the throne itself appears to be made out of the literal skull of a ancient uh, dragon. Um, although it's hard to tell based off of how quick the vision comes and goes on what type of dragon it is. Uh, but you can see that the throne is empty. Uh, there's no one sitting in it. And uh, But you do see that before the throne, there are uh, several different statues, and you find yourselves completely alone in this room. Um, you're beyond your control. You find yourself taking uh, steps toward the throne itself. And the statues, the small ones that appear in front of there, um, appear to be of different uh, creatures. One set of statues looks to be a pair of whispering storm giant sisters, um, as if they're gossiping or scheming. You get this negative uh, uh, impression from them, uh, as if they're up to no good. Um, another statue appears to be uh, also... Uh, a female storm giant, except that she looks weak and timid, very shy. She's standing in such a way that her body posture kind of reveals it to be, uh, you know, uh, like as if she's shy or, you know, not really sure of herself or confident. Uh, she's by herself. Um, another statue appears to be uh, strange because it changes it changes before your eyes as if it's kind of morphing into and out of each other, like a like a four-dimensional tesseract or something. It looks the first to be some sort of blue dragon um, covered in scars and s patches of stone. And then it changes into uh, like a storm giant woman um, who has sort of what looks to be like a like the... Uh, blue dragons are very distinctive in the sense that they have like kind of like an ivory, almost yellowish horn that comes out of their snout. Well, well, she kind of changes form into a storm giant woman that also has this um, like horn-like um, appearance coming out of the top of her head. It's very weird to look at, but she's changing between the two forms almost as quickly, like before you even get any further detail on her, that's what's happening. And then finally, you see a storm giant um, with a crown. But this statue uh, appears to be like an enormous, muscular storm giant man. Clearly, like, Zeus-like in appearance. He's got, like, a giant flowing beard. But he seems to be lying down, uh, not as if he's in a coffin, but kind of in a coffin-like pose. His arms are kind of, like, crossed in front of him on his chest. And his eyes are closed. And he seems to be wrapped in what looks to be octopus tentacles. And then your vision fades and you're brought back to the room of Anam and the statues. And the Uvar rune is lit. Fuck. That was weird. Well, they seem the, le the least threatening so far. Just a bunch of statues that statue was like some of the shit you see when you take some of the stuff with the elves in the high forest <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> tell me more it wasn't a it was not not a good story you don't see good shit all the time is jay trying to talk I, think I, I don't hear. I don't hear anybody but Susan or Thornbear. I think Kevin wants it all. It's because I'm busy eating. Everybody else is wasting time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm eating too. <laughs> uh, Stein. Stone. Uh, Stein. Yes, stoned. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> when you touch the, uh, what is the stone? Uh, a stone boulder, when you lift it out of uh, Scorius's stone bones hands and you touch it to the rune, um, the rune does not light up. You're not treated to a vision. Uh, what you hear in all your heads 
in a very uh you know old sagacious voice like you heard before telling you to eat is the word destroy and what you see appear uh literally out of the ground like rising up out of the ground as stone and rubble just kind of like um you know sort of like a gopher would like climb out of the ground what you see is an actual stone house appear uh it's not very big uh you would say it's only maybe about uh, 15 feet by 15 feet uh but it appears behind the statue of anna Oh god, I'm so full. I can't even think of destroying this stat this throw house the right food now. At it. <laughs> <laughs> throw the sheep at it. <laughs> that much. <laughs> I mean I can't really like, could we blow it up? Uh, do we have a do anyone have a wait, don't we have a do we have a mall? We could use one of the Feel big like weapons I might have a and ball. swing it to destroy it, right? That sounds cool. That could be done. Oh, yeah, does one of them have a mall? They have a boulder. Does one of them have a mall? No. No, no mall. No hammers. Well, we can do a... Does any of them have, like, a blunt weapon, or are they oh, all... Adamantine, it does. Doesn't that do more damage to, uh... No, it just ignores crits. As armor, I don't know what it does as a weapon. I think they took that out in fifth edition. Yeah, yeah I think t I think rules is written. It doesn't do anything special as a weapon. Fifth edition. Oh well. I think it overcomes some resistances. That's about it. Smash mm. the boulder on it. <laughs> yeah, he's got a boulder. Just drop it. All right, that's what I'll do. <laughs> drop a boulder on the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so using the boulder of uh, Scorius' stone bones, you are... Uh, it will take you some time. You can swing it through the air. That, I mean, the house is... Uh, it appears to be... First of all, the house doesn't look like it's one solid piece. It actually looks like it's made out of mortared stone. Uh, and it appears to be of, uh, you know, demi-human or human construction. But within a few swings of uh, the boulder, you know, using it kind of like a wrecking ball with your ring of telekinesis you were able to uh destroy the house within the span of like two three minutes and when you do so and it falls to rubble and is just like dust and rubble everywhere uh the rune for stein lights up we need more proof we need to eat all the food <laughs> yep. while i was doing that you guys didn't finish it yet Gee. Oh, come on, man. Let's see you eat more than we do. You're much no larger way. than I am. <laughs> able to eat. That's fair. Yeah. You still have the matter of the live sheep as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm petting him for now. Yeah, get too close to it, huh? Yeah, we're, we're getting attached so that the death can be sweeter, you know? <laughs> Make it taste better. <laughs> Um, okay, and the last one, ice. All right, so you pull out the uh, the axe of Thrym, the one that you retrieved from the rune with the Eye of Frost. Uh, you touch it to the rune. Um, it does not immediately light up, nor you treat it to a vision. Uh, what ends up happening is that literally between the wagon and the statue of Anam itself, uh, you see two pedestals rise up out of the ground. Atop each pedestal appears to be uh, a globe. One uh, on the left is a lush green planet uh, full of life. What you see are the blues uh, of uh, vast oceans, the swirling clouds, um, very reminiscent of Earth. Obviously, it's not Earth, um, but it appears to be that. Uh, you do notice that there are moons that uh, encircle it. These moons soon become quickly apparent to you that they represent uh, the moons of the Forgotten Realms, of the world of Albir Toril. The other pedestal holds a very similar planet, except that it appears to be made entirely of ice. Uh, it also has clouds, 
but the ice is almost see-through to the point that in the center of it you can see a brilliantly glowing uh, ring encrusted with maybe jewels or diamonds can't really tell it's it's in literally the center of the globe you can see that although it looks beautiful it looks completely devoid of life as well no voice no voice Try and break it. Get the ring out of the middle. It's in the frozen one, correct? Correct. I put the flaming short sword through it. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> okay. When you take the flaming short sword and you thrust it into the icy planet, uh, it almost instantly shatters. A huge burst of steam uh, and ice flies everywhere. And when you do that, both of the pedestals lower down into the ground. And you hear uh, the voice of Anam say, you have chosen. And the rune of ice lights up. We've chosen. Did we just doom some small ice planet? Who cares? Well, or <laughs> are we? is our no planet now going to get covered people, in ice? Ice things. Screw them. Oh. Wait, why were those? Why were those? Um, why hey, are those planets round? <laughs> That's not right. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta hear this conversation. <laughs> Wait, Thornbird, what do you mean? The world's well, round. What are you talking about? Why are they round? Yeah, it's not round. like we. It's not like. I mean, look out the window. It's not like it's curved out here. I mean, if have you ever, like, if you really look out into the ocean, it is slightly curved. Wasco play this thing called basketball? Just checking. And, you mean, <laughs> that, like, how do you think the sun and the moon, like, disappears, you know? They're not always. Oh, well, the same I think that the, I think the that time. there's like a guy on a chariot who's pulling the one or oh, something like yeah. that. Yeah, but then wouldn't you see both of them at the same time all the time? <clears throat> Those are big questions. <laughs> it's a big planet. Yep. It's round. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll believe it when I see it. Don't listen to them. Planets, whatever you want it to be. Keep eating. Okay. So, like, you would fall off of it, is what you're saying? No, you step around the edge of the other side. I never thought about it. Would you know when you're stepping over the edge? I don't know. I've never done it. I think you should. Go I feel it. like you would fall off. I think you would. I think it just. I think you just fall off. I think it rests on the back of elephants standing on a turtle flying through space. <laughs> now I can get on board with that. Okay. More of a disc world. Mm-hmm. With you an will. elephant. <laughs> okay. So, uh... <laughs> now, so they're all lit up now. No, we just so. have to finish eating, so... that's. Oh, yeah. Go. That's right. Nom, nom, nom. We're going to have to face the uh, goat in the room here and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, let's wait. You know, let's eat all the food first. Well, and then see if it lights up or not. Should we get it cooking we while we're to... eating the other stuff? I mean, like, we got to skin it and all that stuff. Well, we don't know. Like, what if the sheep wasn't part of it, you know? It's it just came like a with it. It was part joke, of it. You know? No, no. You just mm. don't want to face the fact it was part of it. It's probably going to die out here anyway, right? Stab the sheep choo. in the head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, man, vicious. She's merciful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Sheep dies. Stab it in the head. Wow. <laughs> Efficient. Merciless. I like it. <laughs> no pain, just dead. Yeah. It was like a cow gun. Yeah. <laughs> Call it a Zerana gun. <laughs> all right, so uh, all right, you got a dead, uh, you got a dead sheep on the ground as well. All right, Belfry, you can eat it. 
<laughs> I don't think Jay can talk. I don't hear him at all. I think I heard him one time. Hey, is your mic working, man? I nope. see him positioning it, but not moving his mouth. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't yeah, we don't hear you. you. Yeah, we can't hear you. Sorry, that's buddy. Better. Oh, there you go now. No. Oh, hey. there you go. You hear oh, you okay. now. I will not eat it. <laughs> <laughs> the goat. You're not a vegetarian, right? I, I'm not, but okay. you just okay. murdered it. <laughs> I mean, I murdered it quickly. Just like, uh, never mind. You should have spoke up. <laughs> what, did, did you want to kill it? Oh, no, no, no. You want to eat it while it was still alive, you animal? Ah, uh, no, not this druid. <laughs> <laughs> there is another druid in the past, right? <laughs> yes. You used to eat everything. <laughs> I remember Jay. <laughs> I used to well, eat my victims alive. Not much of, you know, skinning and all that. That's, uh, have to leave to you all. Looking at Tarana. I get my skinning knife. <laughs> i put it down because I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe one thing at a time. <laughs> well, you should have cooked it now. So how many days will it take to eat all this? You just, you just prepare <laughs> uh, for me. Oh, well, I'll... there's there's six of you plus uh, plus winter, so mm -hmm. uh, it will take you. You're about halfway done after a few hours. Uh, so, <laughs> wait, how much yeah, could each gorilla full. eat? <laughs> yeah, seriously, why are wait, you summoning animals? <laughs> if the gorillas eat it and then the gorillas disappear, does no, the food come back? No, summon bears. Get Dude, bears. let's just. Let's get that sheep Ooh, bears, cooking. yeah. <laughs> what if we just have to eat those sheep? Let's just get that thing cooking. All the bears. Fine, I'll stop eating. I'll start skinning. <laughs> you just see, like, blood everywhere. I'll start cooking it once not you're done not used to it. cleaning it and all. <laughs> yeah, no checks are necessary, but uh, if, you're not, if you're eating it yourselves and you're not summoning any animals or creatures to no. do it for you... No. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need everybody to make a con save first. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, not or throw shit up. my pants right now. <laughs> God, so much. <laughs> we all throw Ooh. up. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, my. Everybody's failing. Oh my! <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Why is everyone vomiting on me? <laughs> The little bell for him. Oh, it's, like that, it's like oh, that no. movie with the pie eating contest where like one person vomits. <laughs> Has anybody seen that movie? It sounds familiar. Oh, nasty. <laughs> I know somebody has seen this movie. It with, like the blueberry. <laughs> I think it's from Stand By Me, where like he's describing <laughs> the eating contest that's going on. Anybody ever seen Stand By Me with uh, yeah, it's you know, been a River Phoenix? Time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some time. of the older people, like Eric or Kevin, <laughs> might, might know what I'm talking hey. about. <laughs> you got whippersnappers. I don't know about the old movies. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that good. You're not missing it. <laughs> Stand by me. Oh, God. That movie's excellent. Oh, I don't know. I never watched it. I thought it looked stupid. Uh, oh, it's a classic. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's a I, classic. I feel like I haven't seen it since I was a kid. I don't know if it would stand up the test of time. I don't think so. I think so. Anyway, that's a very funny scene in the movie. That's just <laughs> hilarious to me. But anyway, uh, yeah, so a lot of you, uh, you don't feel too great. You're, uh, <laughs> you're feeling extremely, uh, like, uh, nauseous. Um, essentially, um, you're, you're going to be you're gonna be exhausted. You ever, get, you ever eat so much you're just completely pooped out? That's, that's oh, kind of like, like every day. Right yeah, <laughs> every, 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 meal. <laughs> every meal, I'm like that. <laughs> no, that's kind of like what it feels like. You know, the way you would feel after Thanksgiving dinner, if you've had a ton to eat, uh, it, this is the way you feel right now. You, your bellies are like at, at almost max capacity. And it's like you've been eating for like four hours straight and you're like, oh my God, we still have like half the fucking wagon left. This is ridiculous. So what? Except for Belfrain, who's like, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, how the fuck does she put it? <laughs> <laughs> Belfrain, who weighs like 125 pounds, right? 
probably. Well, Elfrin, you have to eat the rest. <laughs> oh, it's that druid stomach of hers, you know. She's, she like wild shaped her stomach or something. <laughs> yeah, you're cheating. <laughs> I gave myself six stomachs. <laughs> Cow belly right here. <laughs> you're like chewing your food and then you just spit it out and then you oh, eat it with your yeah. second stomach. <laughs> <Bah>. <laughs> It's like a, like a cow chewing its cut or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> so, so yeah, everybody except for Belfrin is currently suffering one level of exhaustion. <laughs> Come on, you keep pussy. eating, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it off. Oh God, it hurts. Walk around the statue a few times. That'll uh, shift things. Make room. <laughs> Yeah, about it's, the it, sheep, it's okay. like it's like that that scene in Cool Hand Luke where he eats fifty eggs, where we're all just like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty uh, it's pretty intense right now. Uh, so you guys are all gonna continue. I take it. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> all right, you 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 get another couple hours in. Uh, you've eaten you in half of what was remaining. Uh, you got maybe about a quarter of the wagon left, uh, and he, you guys are feeling it, man. Like everybody is at at, at the brink. Um, <laughs> I mean, not like you weren't at the brink before. Like you're like, oh, I could give it a couple more, you know, hours of trying. But now it's like, holy shit. Uh, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need con saves again from everybody. Oh wait, I didn't do winter before. Oh, but oh yeah. Winter. Couldn't summon the apes. To oh, help. winter! Winter's got it. Yeah, winter's good. Going in strong. Wait, now we got to do another one. He, he's a big creature, so you know he's. Good. Yeah, no, I'm too. <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh, no. oh, the heart! <laughs> oh, the humanity! Not good. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Why can't you eat? <laughs> Give me that! I Give me that! Well, I'm not used to having to eat this much food. <laughs> Winter's good. Belfry's good. I think the only person that's missing here is uh Curry. <laughs> oh my god. Those of you who failed, which is anybody with a ten or less right now, uh you, everybody like <laughs> run it down has, has failed. Um you guys have a second level of exhaustion. Sweet. Oh I'm moving slow, guys. You're missing dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Kareem, that's gonna fail too. <laughs> Alright, well, you're getting there. I don't know how much more you can take, man. Two levels of exhaustion? Oh, man, it's pretty bad. You might yeah. eat yourselves to death. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Belfrin's fine, so Belfrin has either. Everyone is fine. We got only one level of exhaustion, or none. Belfrin gets to eat the rest. I'm sleeping. Right, but be 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 Belfrin's got, <laughs> Belfrin's got two saves right now. She's, she's good to go. Alright, good night. You eat the rest. <laughs> Wake me up and I'm not exhausted. Oh, Get on that treadmill. Where's the bathroom? Uh. <laughs> yeah. it has... Go drop a few pounds in the in the outhouse and <laughs> come back here. <laughs> He's like a shit a baby. Uh, I made a twin. As long as there weren't any jalapenos in that pile, we might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, so who's participating in the last round, the last bout of eating? <laughs> uh, obviously, I, I gonna, I keep obviously, going. Winter is going, going for it. All right, <laughs> and I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I'm not going to be outdone <laughs> in eating. Match. All right, uh, uh, Zorana. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Oh, God. All right, I'm, I'm slowing down. Thorver, I'm sorry. You're uh, you're still gonna fail. Oh God! There. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. Oh, God. All right, so uh, let's see here what we got. Uh, so, uh, Kareem, you're. Oh God! The double wounds. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? Kareem just like fucking throwing up at this point. Does it count if you throw up? Don't throw up! Keep it in, Kareem! 
It seems to count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Green. You're gonna you're gonna get a third level. <laughs> uh, let's see, Belfrin, you get one level because that fails. Zorana, you're okay. You mm. stick with your two levels. Thornbird, you fail. Yeah. Um, no, Zorana, actually, the 16 does pass. Uh, the winter uh, passes as well. Mm -hmm. Winter's good. Winter could eat more. Well, I think Balabar sat out, so he's taking yeah. a nap. I'm <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I was not kidding. <laughs> All right, well, I am smaller uh, than the rest of you. I <laughs> ate as much as I could. <laughs> well, that's fair. I think the only person that passed all three was Winter. Yeah, that's right. Winter's <laughs> that's pretty good. good. Winter tardy. Yeah. Death, his, his, his giant belly, yeah, is uh, is actually, he seems very sated and content. And uh, <laughs> because because Winter has actually managed to pass all three, the fucking rune lights up. Yes! <laughs> oh, so that was... <laughs> Oh, Winter has proved oh. himself to the hill giant. That's hilarious. <laughs> Winter, you are worthy. <laughs> he does like a loud bleat. Just echoes through the I guess we didn't room. need to kill the lamb after all, huh? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, that was probably the best part. That fresh lamb was pretty tasty. Not a fan, but they got me guess. through that. Uh, that last that second third of the journey there. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> what's very strange is that uh, uh, Winter gets some newfound powers as a result of all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Yeah. So you guys remember the <laughs> so you guys remember the, the <laughs> Yeah, that that would actually be kinda cool. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me just check something here. Did swallow whole somehow? What? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's a great attack. <laughs> Winter needs some variety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me one minute. Um just wanna yeah. make sure that I'm looking at the right stuff here. Yep. Nice. So Winter is going to get. Um... <laughs> he gets these three abilities. Three abilities? Nice. What the heck? Yeah, let's see. There you go. Ignore the fact that it says complex property. It's a complex property, yeah. It's very complex. Oh shit. Considered huge. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He needs to be bigger. <laughs> it's just one more size up, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I mean his strength is almost his strength is eighteen. So we <laughs> use him to test if things are poisoned, I suppose. <laughs> You could eat anything. <laughs> you already ate one. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. <clears throat> That's really got to fuck up an animal that it never feels full. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's not an intelligent creature. <laughs> <laughs> just always eating from now on. <laughs> yeah. Winter's gonna start drinking now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so as I mentioned, uh, he gets these these newfound powers, and like he kind of gets this like really strange look on his face, and then he like nudges over to uh, to um, Zorana, and and you could just see like something different about him in his eyes. <laughs> Are you and feeling all belly. right, Winter? <laughs> he gives a loud belch, <laughs> like kind of like pushes your hair back, <laughs> and just like <laughs> the smell of all the foods he's eating just like comes out of his mouth. <laughs> ah, Winter. It's oh. nice, but not in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, um, 
what you see now is uh, all the runes of the archway are lit. And from what you can tell, the the archway itself begins to uh, morph before your eyes. You can see that there is a mistiness that appears within it. Um, you can see the runes still brightly glowing, but the fact that the marbled stone is now transformed into mist leads you to believe that you can be walked through. Let's wait until I'm not exhausted before we continue. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> the beholder taught us anything. It's wait. <laughs> how um, how long has it been since our last long rest? Because it took us many hours to eat all that stuff. So uh, our last long so rest was before it took we you went about up. Eight, it took you about eight hours to eat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess I could be ready for another. Uh... Yeah. Let's. I, mean, I sleep. Yeah. Pretty. Um, pretty so that's pretty what you're intending to do is take another long rest. I don't think you'll be able to. You can only can. take one within a span of 24 hours. hours. But it's getting close, right? Because it's been. Because we went right, and explored we'll stand there more. For a few hours and then do it. <laughs> <laughs> take a nap. You can certainly try. <laughs> Come on, let's press forward. We've got our Easy bellies full. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put mustard on it. <laughs> so you got three levels of exhaustion. What, what's, how bad is that? Let me see what that is. It's, how uh, many? It means I have to... How bad is that? Checks your speed is halved, and you have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah, all attacks oh, yeah. and saving throws. <laughs> oh, that's and pretty bad. Uh, oh, uh, not much. Do, Can um, you cast, uh, like, Restoration or something? Oh, yeah. That removes exhaustion, doesn't it? Uh, I, I don't hey, think I have enough diamonds like, to do it on five one. five times. Because it's a greater it's a good... restoration. We'll sit here and wait. <laughs> <laughs> a, you don't have enough diamonds. B, you can't cast it enough times. Yeah, I can, only, ca I can only cast it once, because it's, uh, I only have enough diamonds to do it once. Oh. But um, who? How many of us are super exhausted? Is it? It's me. Kareem. Who else has Kareem and um, Emin? Yeah. Oh. Now don't cast the less the rest on that. We're just not going anywhere for a while, like days. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is can't wait days. Now. There's it's like a day per level of exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait three well, days to go at anywhere. At least one day, so everyone can get down to two. Because <clears throat> disadvantage on all attack rolls and saving throws, we're fucked. <laughs> I mean, we may as well just make new characters. <laughs> just <laughs> cast spells. Summon animals to do all your fighting for you. I mean... Well, of attack I mean, I look at winter. Counts. It does count, yeah. Yeah, not everyone can uh, summon a bunch of animals, buddy. <laughs> Thank God no. they came to help us eat, though, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you want me to do that? No, no, no. It wasn't if, a good idea. If you were shorter, I would have smacked you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how mute works. <laughs> It's the opposite of you. <laughs> I say we rest. If we have to wait uh, a few hours before we can do an eight hour rest, we just do one so that way you guys get second level exhaustion and then we can go forward. We'll still be going at half speed, but. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay. <clears throat> Well, um, as you guys turn back toward the archway after deciding to, you know, take a long rest, you, start, you see that the mist in the archway is just slightly smaller. Ah, uh, oh have to God. Go now. God damn it. Uh, All right, let's go. All right, get up. Get up, start Kareem. Get that. up. Can you get up here? I, um, oh, here's something I thought of, Joe. I can use the telekinesis on objects, but not people, right? Correct, so I, yes. I put a cloak down and I sit on it and then I telekinesis myself through the 
<laughs> so you kind of like, <laughs> like like a magic carpet. <laughs> yeah, but it's almost like a magic hammock, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a yeah, it's like a bag. Very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I do it to the sides of me, so it's like a seat. <laughs> no, this is roll how I style. travel now, people. No, no. <laughs> You're gonna get like leg atrophy, like within a few months. It's like you just <laughs> never walk anymore. <laughs> anyway. You gotta right, get right. yourself like a nice, comfy chair and then do it in that. Yeah, <laughs> like... I still feel gross. I don't want to walk, so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. That would be fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, that being said, you guys decide to go through the Misty Archway. It's kind of weird. Um, it's a weird feeling because it kind of feels like wet for a brief moment. Kind of like you walk through um, like a cold mist at a, at a park or something like that. Uh, but you come out on the other side. Um, and what you see is um, you hear like a lot of thunder for some reason. Like as you're walking through it, and it seems like you walk for maybe like a, like a few, uh, ten, like ten or twenty feet or so, um, but you could tell that there's some definitely uh, some kind of transportation magic going on because uh, when you come out on the other side, it doesn't seem like you just walk deeper into the into the mountain. You definitely walk into an entirely separate room. Um, what you find yourselves in is a hexagonal chamber. You see that the walls rise 50 feet uh, before you. It tapers to a 90-foot high ceiling at its apex. Um, the chamber, like I said, is hexagon-shaped, so it's got six sides. And standing in each corner of the room is a life-size statue uh, of a giant holding a heavy iron lantern with one raised arm, kind of like this. Uh, each type of giant is represented. You see hill, stone, frost, fire, cloud, and storm. A cold... Magical light radiates from each of the lanterns, illuminating what appears to be a giant corpse lying on the floor beneath a shroud of frost in the middle of the room. Uh, the corpse looks like it's been here for some time, preserved by the cold. I'm trying to figure out what it, the corpse is of a corpse of. Yeah, that's creepy. It is of a giant. Uh, it is of a cloud giant. Cloud giant you recognize. Uh, as you see the cold, lifeless eyes of a giant, some of you may not recognize as Zephyros lying what there. What the fuck? Dead giant. No. Shit. <clears throat> Wait. It couldn't have been that long. How long has it been since we saw him? Six months. <laughs> <laughs> it's our random uh, adventures <laughs> walking through the forest let's go chase that vampire again <laughs> as you guys are standing there uh, somewhat dumbfounded for, for a moment uh, you can see a couple things uh, kind of stand out to you uh, first is that um, <clears throat> give me a second just want to make sure uh, so first, uh, there there are a few signs around the room that it's some sort of battle occurred here. You can see scorch marks everywhere, um, even gouge marks in the ground and floor around the body and around certain parts of the room. Second, there is a broken staff. Um, it appears to be uh, his staff, because you remember him holding a staff uh, of magic power, um, but it's broken. Like clearly shattered in pieces all around him and encased under some frost. Um, second thing you notice is that uh, <clears throat> he's got what looks to be some sort of uh, spell book, although giant sized, kind of strapped to the side of his body, also encased under some ice. Okay, and um, in addition to that, he seems to be wearing an, a necklace of some sort with an opal. Of a fire, fire, some sort of fire opal in the in the in the set into the necklace. Okay, it's kind of like dangling off to the side there. I'm going to show you an image, um, because. Hey, uh, Emin, could you help me melt down to that book there? As you say that, you see a ghost uh, appear out of the body, <laughs> and it, it appears to be the ghost, literally, of Zephyro. And he kind of like whooshes up and form, forms right in front of you guys. His arms like outstretched. And he says, 
Oh, oh, what happened? Zeph Zephyros, uh, I don't know if it's right to ask if you're okay. How do you feel? Uh, don't feel so good. I feel quite dead. How did you... Hey, I remember you. I remember some of you very well. Yeah, did you did you have Howdy. to eat a wagon of food too? Are you dying? He's from... got that like weird tick where like he kind of clicks his head mm -hmm. off to the side that you remember. <laughs> and as you're asking him about eating a wagon of food, he just kind of looks really confused. Never mind. <laughs> you're, okay. you're dead. Can we us. have your stuff? Hey, don't be rude. <laughs> Even if you didn't know him. Who are you? Personally. Who are your friends? People that I've never seen before. These are our new friends. Part of the Stone Sworn. They are. He looks at. Him. He looks at Emmett, and his eyes like kind of like go wide, like almost like eggs in his sockets. And and then he looks back at the rest of you guys, and he says, "Oh, you're a small one." And he kind of pats Palabar on the head. Interesting magic. I try to figure out ways to destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> I start listing things. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I've just been not alive for quite some time. I don't really know what date it is. And he looks around and he says, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? Doing the tr tr trial? There's a trial. We heard a, a trial. Uh, what do you? Oh, I don't know if well, it's over now, but I don't know what's the last thing you remember? Did you fail the trial? Uh, no, no, not at all. I was permitted to enter. For some reason, I was allowed in here by the great old father himself. He says the last thing I remember. Kind of taps his soul patch for a second, uh, and he says, "I see what you did there." <laughs> <laughs> and he says, uh, oh, yes, I remember being killed by an ancient blue dragon. And he seems like oh, sure of himself, oh. and he kind of smiles and nods his head, and then goes... I start <laughs> looking around the room, see if I find any <laughs> see the dragon. Uh, you definitely don't see an ancient blue dragon around, because he's the only body here. Uh, but then it begins to dawn on you as you're looking at the scorch marks of the room and trying to take it all in that a lot of them resemble to be lightning strikes like the scorch marks you would see mm -hmm. um you know in a lightning pattern across the sky mm -hmm. uh does this have to do with uh Chesaroth and his his you're uh, asking that i'm asking this to the party not necessarily to uh maybe it could be the the, the the mom or whatever because he ran away he's like I'm gonna tell my mom on you, you know, yeah yeah it. are yeah, you saying any mom? of that out loud <laughs> yeah yeah yes, we're saying that out loud <laughs> yes hmm I don't think I know that name although it does sound oddly familiar to me hmm what was it what? again it was uh Chisera. What did he say his mom's Tessera. name was? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Ah, one of the two children of the Dragon of Statues. Yeah, Dragon of Statues. Yeah, this, that's what it was. Yeah, his true definitely. name I know to be Imerith. It, was it the same? Was that the same Imerith that uh, attacked you? Yes, yes, indeed it was. She's also known by another name, the Doom of the Desert, for she makes her home in Onorak, a desert that lies far to the east and south of here. She also seems to like titles. <laughs> she does. In fact, very few people know her true name. Ah, in fact, that is why I've come here, to seek wisdom. You know where you are. In front uh, of a dead giant. Well, we're yes, inside. this is true. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, uh, but sorry. you are also in a very, very important holy place, one that is dedicated to God of great mystery and great power, Anam. You lie in the eye of the oracle. 
Yeah. That's Do you understand what that means? That we not can... even a little bit. Could you explain yeah, it not, to us? Not really. <laughs> Simply, this is so a we know. Room of a great wisdom. It is capable of answering any question. That is why I have come here to seek and find out more about the shattering of the ordering. What was to the... determine its cause and ask the questions of Anam himself for herself, if you follow that philosophy. <laughs> Did you were you able to ask your questions? I was. That's how I was able to find out the name of Imr. I have learned a great many things. I have learned that the ordering has been shattered because the storm giant king exists no more or sits upon the worm skull throne. We saw that. Is he dead? Yeah, he... No. I don't know where he is and I'm not really sure what happened to him, but uh, I ran out of questions by that time. How many well, questions we... did we get? He was a statue, right? Well, uh, no, not that I remember seeing. Uh, uh, I didn't receive a vision. The oracle commu communicates to you through words. Why do you ask that? Because we saw visions earlier when we were trying to go through the last room. Yeah. Hmm. When we came here, we were in the we were in the. I of the All Father. Very so interesting. Here. I don't know. Perhaps Anam has decided to bless you or provide you visions in different. But uh, you said you could ask uh, how many questions you could ask. Well, the answer is before you. Look around. Six questions. Indeed. But I know for certain that Imrith is the one responsible for the missing Storm King's disappearance. Where he lies now, I do not know. But I do not think he is dead. So then, to Ask fix he is. the ordering, we would have to get the Storm King back on his throne. <clears throat> How to fix the... Uh... And or... possibly also stop Imerith so that she doesn't fuck that up again. Hmm. I think that is a good guess. Why did well, Perhaps you should it, ask. Then? I do not know. That's, I'm not asking you. I'm matching out to the group. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would be careful, however, of what you ask of the Oracle in regard to Imerith. For I think it's my question, in finding out the truth of the matter, that summoned her here in the first place to, well, kill me. Perfect. So let's <laughs> wait then. Let's heal up. Uh, summon her here with a question. Kill her and be done. Uh, I mean, we could ask other questions. I like your spunk. That. We should try that. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the villain to us. It's Hmm... I'm not so sure that's a good idea, <laughs> little one. Uh, see, I am a powerful wizard, and she managed to destroy me in very little effort. Uh, yeah, you look like a know. ghost to me. I don't know how we would fare against <laughs> well, a giant... Well, I'm a ghost now, but yes. Dragon. <laughs> can, uh, can I see your spell book? I also am a wizard, and I am curious if there's things in there that maybe I do not know. <clears throat> well, if you can read giant, of course, yes, it's fine. Um, mm. I, I would hand it to you, but I, he kind of puts his hands through it, and they're just translucent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta work on my giant. <laughs> I need to work on that. Uh, I like I like your attitude about all this, Sephiroth. It's a good attitude. <laughs> well, uh, why, why haven't you being dead off? is interesting. I'm not really sure why I'm still here. In fact, uh, I, the last thing I remember was getting blasted with uh, one of Imrit's powerful lightning breaths. Mm -hmm. um, then I blacked out, and oh, he looks down at his body. Seems well, like, you seems like I pissed myself as well. <laughs> but anyway, you probably shat your pants too. <laughs> probably. 
I hear that's very common. <laughs> Can you force me for it? I was dead. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's frozen now. Well, you've helped no, us. I guarantee so. would be terrible. Have you ever seen a chocolate giant shit? <laughs> no, and I hope never to. <laughs> I, he I heard that when you die, you can still fart. Perhaps, so. yes. I do not know such things. I'm a historian. <laughs> Why don't you ask the oracle? <laughs> that is a good question. Oh, so I let me explain how to ask the oracle actual questions. <laughs> Perhaps we should get into that now. Yeah, I mean, if we got time, we're still digesting. So, and by digesting, I mean food, not like the situation, but that also can apply. Maybe not. Yeah, you all look to have been put on a little bit of weight. I mean, it's a <laughs> The ones I remember weight. seeing you. <laughs> you seem to have lost a bit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I'm not trying to knock anyone. No, 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 Winter. Winter definitely. We just ate a lot. For more. Oh, I'm very exploded. Uh, so, I. He seems to try to move off of his body, but he's like, I seem to be stuck here. Uh, anyway, uh, you must stand in the center of the circle there, and he points to the center of the room, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm going to move you guys to right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a second. Uh, all right, let's see if that works. Uh, wait, ping is like shift click. Or it's just yeah. right next to her. Shift Whee! click. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. I, I, I brought the wagon here with you. So, so that's where <laughs> no, his body the is. Wagon! <laughs> the, the wagon! The wagon is out. <laughs> yeah, so you must stand in the center of the room. Uh, oh, on your corpse? Like, <laughs> eh, near my corpse would be fine. <laughs> He's not exactly in the center, despite what the image shows. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that one of you can actually uh, speak giant. We can. I don't understand it. But anyway, <laughs> um, you merely say, uh, Oh, Oracle, I have a question for you, and he answers, if he can. Okay. And now we gotta... And we get six questions? We have to carefully Indeed. word these questions. <clears throat> oh, okay. and I, I would do it quickly. Your portals there seems to be shrinking. Oh, shit. So, uh, I feel like we shouldn't say... What... First where thing... is the Storm King's body? Or where is the Storm King now? Well, we saw... He was stone, right? That was the Storm King? I think that was probably just a vision. It might have been him Part being stone, vision. but we still don't know where that was. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, oh, well, I don't speak giant, so... Uh... Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... So, looking in the center of the room, you also notice that there's a giant rune in the middle of it. It's as big as the circle itself. Uh, from what you could tell... Um, anybody who, like Emin, you, you recognize the rune. From what you could tell, it's the Kong rune. The Kong rune. Kong. King Kong? As in King, <laughs> yeah, as in King Kong. Yep, King Kong. The giant I ape. love gorillas! <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me! So, where is the location <laughs> of... It literally the... is. It is the King rune. <laughs> oh, is it? Yes! <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I'll turn him back from stone to flesh. Yes. Well, I think I have a spell that can do that. Oh, okay. Well, you're right. assuming those weren't metaphors, like instead yeah. of pictures or images, they were made of stone. They were. Well, they were probably just showing statues of what happened, not so much that those people are currently statues. <clears throat> oh. I bet you they're so. statues. Uh, yeah. How else can you keep them tied down, you know? Even like the trippy statue that was Tentacular like... monsters? Wasn't he surrounded in tentacles? Well, mm. this idea, um, the word metaphor, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. So, 
I'm just going to well, go with the fact that there's statues there. So it's a thing that explains another thing by talking about a third thing, and it all kind of fits together into one thing. And as I do that, I collapse my hands into one flat thing. Makes sense. That checks out. Okay. I get it now. <laughs> Give you a thumbs up. <laughs> just, just smile and wave. <laughs> smile and wave. So what do we want to ask before we're trapped here forever? Where's the king? How do we free him? Where's the dragon? Where is... Where's well, the dragon? We should hold off on that in case she comes up and no. kills us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is the Storm King? Where is the Storm King? Alright, so um, so that's your agreed upon question, and who's walking to the center and actually asking that? Giant speaking person. Alright, I'll do it. Alright, so Belfrain, you walk to the center of the room. As you stand there, um, you hear... Uh, sorry, 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 let me... That's a weird thing to hear. No need to say sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm uh, coming back from break. Uh, you, you hear a voice in Giant, uh, the same deep, sagacious voice that you heard before. It says, ask your question and no truth. That's where, Zap Brannigan? Where is the Storm King? The Storm Giant King? <clears throat> Okay, when you say that, uh, the hill giant light uh, winks out, okay? And you get a response back. Uh, the response says, King Hecaton lies within the belly of a squid, a ship deep below the ocean. Ocean's a big place. We need specifics. Uh, something to narrow down the where. The ship's name is the Morkoth. So he's not a statue. He's a metaphor. <laughs> yes. You got it. <laughs> I think I understand. See? You got it, big guy. You got it. Uh, okay. So... So uh, come out of the center before you start talking, just in case you pop off another flame. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We got to figure out exactly where the ship is in the ocean. Like I said, the ocean's a big place. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's inside the belly of a squid, the squid's moving around. How do we find the squid? Yes. How do we track the squid? How do we get to the squid? That's a big fucking squid. That's a big fucking squid. Probably delicious. I'm from a forest, so I don't know what a squid is, but I don't want to see one that big. <laughs> so the squid hangs out in the ship, it said? It ate the ship that had the oh, king the on it. Yeah, we're having a Pinocchio moment here. Yeah. Except it's a what? squid instead of a whale. Yep, it is a squid and a giant what? and a boat. In yeah. Sure, a sure. A squid. This is like a leviathan or something. What? <laughs> a kraken. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, ask geez. how to track it? Is that is that a good question? How do we find the squid that yes. ate King Hecaton? Ship. That yeah, because if the squid if the squid comes here, we're good because it's like fish out of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How, How do, we... do we find the squid that ate King Hecaton? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, same thing as before. Um, <clears throat> booming voice says, <clears throat> "What the fuck does this say again?" <laughs> <laughs> ask your question and no truth. And you ask, uh, "How can we find the squid at Eight King Hecaton?" Uh, the response that you get is, "I'll call." Where the squid be at, home? <laughs> <laughs> One second. He says, "Um." <clears throat> 
The Kraken you seek is named Slarkrathel. <laughs> Wait, no, I was just <laughs> kidding <laughs> about Krakens. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Uh, it's Kraken. home. Its home lies near. Uh, lies within the Sea of Swords. At a place yeah. called the Purple Rocks. There we go. Something useful. Mm, what was the name of this Kraken? Larkathel? Wait. Larkathel. Yeah, oh, I was afraid you were asking. Slar, uh, I'll, I'll type it in chat. it okay. will be a lot easier. Yeah, I'm, off, I'm not in the middle. <laughs> and what was the name of the ship? <laughs> How do you spell that name? That's the third question. So, the How ship do you called spell my name? The Morkoth. The Morkoth. What did I get? Larkathel? I don't know. Where... Larkathel! Stark. Oh. Oh wow, yeah, I was far off from that. <laughs> Star Crystal. I was scared. And Purple Rocks. Larthazel. <laughs> Not right. Purple Rocks. I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, light, by the way, that uh, belongs to the next uh, giant up, the stone giant, Winks out. Okay. I look at the portal and try to guesstimate how much time we have left. Um. About thirty minutes. All right, people, we gotta make this quick. Okay. 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 So, do we want to ask how do we free the king? We kill the we Kraken. Assume that we can Wait. get him out. No, let's ask. Maybe we have more <laughs> questions than we I think we have. How do we question. slay the Kraken? <laughs> maybe, maybe we should That's get it more. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe how do we, we slay little... the Kraken and free the king? That's one question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And let's just keep saying and. No, no, and no. I can't do and. <laughs> it's cheating. It's a real big run on sentence. <laughs> or how, how do we kill the Kraken to free the king? There's no and there. Mm hmm. All right. Ooh. So, I like it. What, but maybe we need to go back to more basics. Like, what about, like, how do we fix the ordning? We get the king. Yeah, we get the king back. Well, do we. Who told us that? Well, he said that the ordning is broken because the king's no longer on his throne wait. because he was. Well, but if the king's in the belly. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Like, Excuse me, time. ghost guy. Hey, where'd you go? Ghost guy. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Watching. He seems to have been cleaning his nails. <laughs> if we bring the king back, is that enough to fix the ordning? <laughs> he says, uh, well, yes, uh, that would restore the original position and order of the ordning. <laughs> um, well, uh, <laughs> I think, though, that um, that was the purpose of all the giants in the first place, wasn't it? Mm. I, I mean, don't understand the question. <clears throat> I mean, the ordering is not a thing that is set always. It's not a position that never changes. There's always a possibility that a new race of giants could take the position of the old storm giants at the top. In other words, a restructuring of the ordering itself. A reordering of the ordering. Mm -hmm. well, again, if we bring the king back, does it get fixed? Well... Yes. <laughs> Can we best. stop talking about rebellion and revolution <laughs> and just tell me the fucking facts here? <laughs> this one is spunky. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so true. short, he has to compress it all into a tiny frame. That's right. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should stop. We should talk to uh, Harshnag about this after once we leave. I feel like he might have some opinions about the whole thing. What if we put Harshnag on the throne? Yeah. Ice giants on the throne? Yeah. The frost giants ruling? Uh, I don't I'm know. Gonna feed them there. <laughs> yeah, I don't like anything you're saying. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't met, you know, I've only met like two out of the, you know, 20 giants I've seen are nice. So, yeah. we've Let's killed. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's take racial profiling. Kraken, quick, ask the question. <laughs> okay, so the question is. How do, How do we, we kill the Kraken? The ordinary. Oh, I thought we were talking about the Kraken first. Oh. Okay. I mean, How do well, we fix the ordinary? Well, but the uh, ordinary is like a social structure, so yeah. it's just. Oh, sorry. That. <laughs> Those are big words. <laughs> Did you, get... you think the world You're is just flat? making you know up what a social oh, structure God. is? <laughs> My brain just felt like 
<laughs> you just heard that in town, right? Divine inspiration. <laughs> you just heard hey, some man. fancy words. Don't let them talk you down. You keep saying your piece. I got your back. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, oh yeah. I think I, don't, I think we fix it by just like helping someone else come on top. <laughs> okay, he's <laughs> on a. Come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm glancing over periodically to keep an eye on the portal, Joe. It is going uh, noticed. Yeah, How much about, time we have left? It's about five minutes smaller. <laughs> All right, we're wasting questions by making right. whatever. All right. Let's ask questions. At... <laughs> All right. Uh, get back into the center. Are you ask about killing the Kraken or ask yeah, about fixing the warning. Your choice. Ask your question and no we truth. Do How do we uh, s slay the Kraken to get the king out safely? <laughs> <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> I see Ben down there. <laughs> There's no hands. Not dead. <laughs> you hear a long pause. Well, you don't actually hear the pause. It's just like a long pause. The, the, the lamp kind of like flickers. This is the lamp for the frost giant. And then, Broke the god. <laughs> and then it kind of winks out. And it says, um, <clears throat> Slarkrathel is powerful. The Morkoth must be found. Hecaton must be freed. That is all that is important. To defeat oh. the Kraken will take great and incredible skill and magic. Magic, got it. I just want to, uh, Double check that the, he did say before that the Morkov is in the Kraken. Is that yes. proper, everyone? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we don't have to find it because it's in it. We <laughs> just mm -hmm. need to be swallowed by it and thrown up by it or passed through its bowels. Whatever. <laughs> Can you survive being swallowed by a Kraken? I mean, if he's alive inside of it. We don't know if he's alive. Yeah, it's, it's so he's not dead. It's its own little hollow earth <laughs> inside there. Do you want to ask about the ordning? Was that a question? Is how do we restore the ordning? No, I think we get Hecaton back. I think. I yes. think so too, but everyone, no one seemed to. I mean, to you agree. never know. I mean, I don't. You can't. Yeah. Be too I mean, we have. Sorry, I think I we have like more questions things. that we. Uh, I don't think we have more questions, so we might as well just ask what we think of. <laughs> oh yeah. I think well, we should ask questions about our visions. <clears throat> we don't want to just throw we... away that. Those, somebody put effort into giving us those things beamed right into our brains. That's right. We should ask about that probably construct being built, you know? Find out where. Built, where it is, something. Mm -hmm. How to can stop know. it. Where's the Nightstone? Can night you stone? ask? Yeah, can we ask where Nightstone is? Where's the Nightstone? Night yeah. Um, it's in Nightstone. Or what's it being used for <laughs> now? Mm -hmm. To keep a dragon controlled, probably. Well, if we find out where it is, we can go find out. What's it? What's being done with it? The it's probably you know, inside that giant way. cloud castle that we saw before that flew over us. The... Yeah. You know, well, the... we can ask. Yeah, that's we probably wanna... right. What do we want to ask? Yeah, there's uh, a whole lot of stuff there. What was? <laughs> what does that boil down to? I'm thinking. Uh, were the visions yeah. we saw true? All right. No, it's no, that's a, a waste. Question. That's a waste. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Ask ask where the uh, where the nightstone is. Okay. Where is the nightstone of nightstone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're specific on the nightstone. <laughs> Which one? Well, I don't want him to send me back to the start of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you walking into the center and asking? Oh yes, yes. All right. Ask your question and no truth. Where is the Nightstone of Nightstone that was stolen from Nightstone? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the best question the, ever. 
the fire, the fire giant lantern winks out. The response you get is... <clears throat> Dude, Night Stone. <laughs> Queen Sansuri of the Cloud Giants travels in her cloud castle, Lin Armal. In the bowels of the castle is the Night Stone. Enthralled by it is a luck dragon. And he gives you the name of the luck dragon as well. Hey, isn't yeah, that dragon we've been looking for with that quest? Is been looking for a dragon? That's Falcor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call him Falcor for now. No, no, I'm sorry. Let me give you a better name. <laughs> Falcolos. The flying misfortune. Which is funny because the luck dragon. The flying misfortune. <laughs> okay. His names. Okay, I was actually kind of close with my uh, my words here. What was the name of the dragon? Oh, never mind. Oh, I see that. Sorry. Where's Ryan? I don't know. I haven't heard him in a while. Ryan's there. It's <laughs> just chilling. Leave <laughs> 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 you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, um. We got two more questions. Yeah. Okay. Should we ask how do we fix the origin? I think it's good to be safe. That's a really good point that you raise. Or will freeing the king restore the ordining or something to that effect? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we want to know that what we're doing is yeah. going to actually achieve something. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Good call. How do we fix the ordin? I would ask the, the king question. Will bring the, bringing the king back fix the ordin? Well, then, if if that was it, we should have asked how do we fix the ordin first before asking questions about the king, because then, if we didn't even know anything about the queen, the king, then none of those questions are relevant. But killing the kraken would have given us lots of experience points. <laughs> and that's what fun. doesn't matter, then we don't have to fight the kraken, is my thought. Zephyros, Zephyros seemed pretty sure that bringing oh, the king what? back. Oh, he's cleaning yeah. his nails again. His ghost <laughs> nails. I mean, he's I'm trying to get the grime out from under my nails, but nothing's working. He's pretty You're sure dead. of that, if we bring back the king. You know how unfortunate it is to be a ghost and have grime under your nails forever? It's horrible. <laughs> well, hopefully you can pass on soon. Yeah. Did you have a question for me? <laughs> uh, no, I was just, I was just, uh, I was just saying that you said earlier that you're pretty sure that if we brought back the king, that the ordning is restored. I think, but perhaps you should ask the eye of the All Father. Anyway. We should totally ask. Okay, let's do it. How do we fix? The ordining. Alternately, will freeing the king restore the ordining? That's a separate question. How do we fix the ordining? Why do we wait? Uh, I think so we should ask the question, question and no first. truth. Ask the king question first because if it says no, then we can follow up with how do we fix it. You well, know that's saying? just a waste of a question. And then what else are we gonna ask? Well, if we if we ask will freeing the king, well, we could ask fix the ordering, and then the answer is just no. And then now we have to ask another question. We well, could ask something about the, the Vonan dot. If if we have another question, <laughs> we could ask something about the about the Vonan dot. Yeah, so the big construct. It'd be good to have a question about that. No, Zeron is right. How do we fix the ordering? Is a better question. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. How do we fix the ordning? <laughs> I like the way she asks these questions. <laughs> I can't understand it, but man, it sounds good. All right. That's my giant uh, voice. That's big booming voice somehow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Party meal makes. <laughs> okay. 
King Hecaton is the current king of the giants. His rightful place belongs on the Worm's Skull Throne within his stronghold known as Maelstrom. King Hecaton either must die or be restored to the throne. Whoever sits anew upon it will be the leader of the new ordering and king of the giants. But only if King Hecaton has either passed on or sits upon the throne once again. Yeah, I don't like the idea of just killing him and having whoever so is organizing this entire dead, thing being obviously, the king. Obviously, inside the Kraken yeah. right now is what we're getting at. And right. obviously being inside a Kraken doesn't just apparently kill you. Or he's very, very sturdy. Right. We knew he was alive, though. I mean, I don't know. The answer to that question, so... So we have to free him and put him on this throne. Otherwise, unless, unless we I don't fear... like him. Or let I... him die and have somebody else sit upon the throne. Yeah, but this whole thing feels like it was done so that somebody else can th sit on the throne and take the power, and I'd rather not them win. So I'd rather have That's the true. person go back on the throne. You know? Mm -hmm. That's just. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Why don't you sit on the throne? Then the gnomes will rule over the giants! <laughs> I'm not a giant. Oh, wait. So uh, I, I should add. Um, Zephyros perks up and he says, You only have one question remaining. Uh, as you see, only the storm uh, giant's lantern uh, is currently lit, creating this very pall shadow over the entirety of the room. He says, uh, I believe that that portal will close very quickly once you ask your question. So if there's any opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, take my things, you should probably do that now. Uh, before you ask your question. And I should also add that, um, well, since I seem to be stuck here, uh, you're free to take my, my, my tower. Uh, I did park it uh, well, at the bottom of a valley to the north side of the bridge leading up to the Eye of the Allfather Temple. Oh, yeah, we saw it. We saw it. We saw it. Excuse me. Did you say we could take it? Like, Well, there. you seem to be doing very important things, so... Uh, <laughs> I have no need of it anymore. <laughs> Cure. Shit. So, uh, so, how do we fly that thing? Start having dreams of way. riding the, the griffins. A very good question. <laughs> well, uh, I did have to let the griffins go, considering that the uh, cold weather uh, wouldn't be suitable for their survival, and considering I had no idea how long I would be here. So, uh, yes, uh, they, they've gone. Wait, they, the griffins have gone to roost. Okay, uh, oh, uh, what was They'd the probably question be again? dead by now anyway. <laughs> How do we pilot it? Wait, it was, it was some time ago. I was... there, there is, a, there is a, uh, a cloud giant control orb that exists mm. within the tower itself. Nice. Up on the uh, the second level, uh, you may be able to um, to control its magic via that. Oh, one more thing. Uh, under my body, there's a, uh, a conch. Uh, you may find of use to you. It was one that I found within the crook of the Storm Giant's uh, statue in the previous room. Hey, we have another conch. Good! I have no idea what it does. Okay. Uh, would you like us to remove your body from this place? And bury it? I, I'm not really sure what would happen to my body if it was here, or if I would cease to exist, or something else. Uh, I think it's better if I remain here. Perhaps to guide the next seekers of knowledge. Okay. That's a good. That's okay. I mean, you're preserved, nice and frosty, so. All right. Looty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to remember all of my magic, so there's that. And I have no need of hunger or sleep anymore, so. Can you cast magic like that? I'll have to meditate upon it and try to figure out how, <laughs> but uh, it could be possible. Does he have oh, a giant sack? That doesn't work. <laughs> he tries to do something with his hands, <laughs> but nothing happens. <laughs> you see, like, little sparks, though? And he's like, eh, maybe, with some effort, I might be able to figure this out. <laughs> Here, do you need this for your nails, maybe? I try and let him borrow my dagger. 
Uh, it falls right through his fingers. Oh, thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm stuck with grime under my nails forever. <laughs> I think the first thing I'll work on is press the digitation to remove that. There you go. <laughs> Good. Good idea. Wait, can we carry all this? So we can. Put it... He's the strongest. <laughs> True. <laughs> So so the, the book is fairly large, but it's more like a giant's traveling spell book. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe, I don't know, like a very l like 26 inch long tome. Uh, probably about, you know, 18 inches wide. You can mm -hmm. definitely carry it on your back. Like a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how tall was, was it? Trap. I'm sorry? 26 <laughs> inches. <laughs> yeah, the... the, the the spell book is 26 by 18. I have all by 18. a foot over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm good. <laughs> I'll carry but it, the book. But it's kind of encased like on the side of his body under the frost, but you, you can definitely like chip away at it and remove it. The frost is just okay. an effect of how cold it is in here. Yeah. We can, we can take was, the staff and the necklace too. I'll lift his body well, up. The so staff we can get the is, is practically impossible. There's literally hundreds of pieces on the floor under pieces uh, under their own remnants of frost. Uh, you're fairly certain the staff is broken and useless. In oh, fact, okay. you actually see like a huge blast around him. Uh, as he notices you looking at it, he says, "Oh, that that that's that's no good anymore. That was once a staff of the Magi, but he shrugs." Oh. Um. The Sad. necklace. Were there any rings? I don't. I didn't hear the end of that question, Kevin. Uh, the necklace, the book, the conch underneath. Uh, was there rings or anything else? <laughs> oh, you're such a greedy little gnome. No, that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gnome. Of course, I'm greedy. <laughs> take his underwear as well. It's Did he what use I a do. blanket? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, I, I don't have them. Well, don't this have might be else. this might be strange for you, so I apologize. I'll use the ring of telekinesis to lift his dead body, so we can get the con. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, oh, well, that's very strange. And you notice that his ghostly form is kind of attached, attached to the to body, it. like it's tethered to it. <laughs> <laughs> You could just set me down over there, and he's like trying to like move off of the body, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and you kind of like I don't know what you do. I assume you just follow his directions and kind of set yeah, off yeah, to the side. I, he, he can go wherever he wants. I don't. <laughs> oh, it's like a really like stiff frozen body, so it kind of just moves in one piece, <laughs> like in the same position that he died in. Uh, but underneath it, you see that yes, like before, there is the uh, the the swirling uh, conch you found underneath uh, uh, Queen, uh, under Guz, Chief mm -hmm. Guz's corpse mm -hmm. in the wagon when you mm -hmm. encountered her at Grud Hog. What's with corpses and conches? That's what I want to know. Yeah, the other one you can mm -hmm. teleport. How do they not break under all <sighs> fat things? Oh. I, I could take a guess as to what that exactly is. Um, I believe that it's a means of teleporting to Maelstrom. The stronghold of the storm giants. Oh, so they oh. both do the same thing? Is what you're saying? I think so. So once we get him, then we use it, go there, have him sit on the throne. Sounds good. Okay. Nice. Okay. And I wonder if Sounds the uh, if Maelstrom is by well, it might be near where he is. Maybe we use it to go there too. I don't know. We'll figure that part out later. So from your vision, you do recall that if that was in fact Maelstrom, what you were seeing when you had the vision of the Warm Skull Throne, it seemed to be under the ocean. Yeah. Because remember, like I described, there were windows and you could see marine yeah. life like you were in an aquarium. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But he's under an ocean in well, a kraken's belly. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm saying. But maybe teleporting there. We do have one there. more question, right? We could ask if Maelstrom is near the Kraken and then teleport. Are we ready to fight a Kraken? No. Yeah, but the thing is, Kraken could always be moving, so... Yeah. Yeah. And we know where its lair is, so it doesn't really matter if it's close to the thing or not. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, he did tell you that it was, the Oracle right. did tell you it was by the Purple Rock. Did that's you want right. to ask about the Construct? Um... Should we ask, like, do they have all the pieces? But no, we have one of the pieces. 
No, do we? Do we have people? We gave it to Harsh. No, yes, maybe. I don't remember the, the details. dildo of the Vaughn and Dodd. Do we just have the thing that finds them though? We don't actually have any pieces. I think so. No, I don't think we have the rod of the Vaughn and Dodd because it's too big. I think Harshnag no, has it. Harshnag has Should we ask them, um, do they have all the pieces to build the Vaughn and Dodd? Well, would, would How about the we where be able to make again? use of the Vaughn and Dodd? We probably would need to use the Vaughn and Dodd to kill Il Imerith. Oh. I stick with the where. Or Von and Dodd crack and battle, that'd be pretty cool. It's kaiju battle. Yeah. <laughs> or we could ask the significance of the choice when I destroyed the frozen orb. Oh, that's a good question. Because oh, yeah. I didn't realize I was making a choice. Yeah, <laughs> what world did I destroy? <laughs> what choice did I make? <laughs> yeah. What was the significance like of our choice? I like With that one. That one's exciting. <laughs> okay. Everyone's agreed? Yeah, significance of our choice. What was the significance of the choice of destroying one world or the other? Uh, the lantern flickers in the storm giant's uh, outstretched arm. And then uh, it goes out and you hear like a long pause and you're kind of blanketed in darkness for a brief moment except for the glow of the swimming misty archway behind you and then the voice speaks <clears throat> it says king storvold of the frost giants seeks to bring about an age of everlasting life uh, ice to do so he seeks the ring of winter choosing the planet of ice, Albir Toril, dooms this planet to eventually be overcome by the power of the ring. Wait, so we doomed the planet? <laughs> uh, I guess or so. We, or we didn't doom the planet because we just took the ring. We didn't take we the received ring. received no response. <laughs> you didn't take the ring. The ring did disappear once uh... you shattered it. Uh, we chose it. Well, I don't see any reason to fix the ordning if we're doomed anyway. Well, maybe the ordning can fix that shit. Because uh, he's like, yeah, right? Can yeah. Hecaton's badass, he can well, take Well, that of... gate's uh, about to close. We should probably hustle through. Sounds good. I start hobbling at half speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, wait, yeah. wait, here! Uh, here, get on this uh, get on this cloak with me. I'll carry us through. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I try to run and I'm just cramping up immediately. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, you do see that once the once the question ends, once he his response ends, that the mists in the archway begin to swim violently, and they start to swirl in kind of like a clockwork uh, maelstrom type of type of uh, pattern, and it looks like it, they are quickly shrinking. I go through. Uh, uh. He says. Uh, Sephiro says bye. I hope you come back someday if you can pass the trials again. We're not! Bye! Thank you, Zephyros! <laughs> Good luck! Enjoy your time alone! And uh, with that, uh, you guys step through the misty archway. Uh, does anybody need to take a break? Yeah, sorry about dooming the world, people. Mm -hmm. I thought I was destroying the bad fate. I mean, we all made a decision <laughs> together for that. We just have to adapt <laughs> to the cold. It's fine. I mean, we didn't want it to break. I mean, that was an unclear... Let's all get boots of the winter. We'll be fine. <laughs> boots of the winter will be fine. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The one you want, you keep. The one you don't want, you destroy. I think these giants, they need yeah, lessons in yeah. decision-making. Yeah, instructions <laughs> unclear. <laughs> <laughs> Got sword stuck in ice planet. All right. Well, uh, as you come through the other side of the, uh, the archway, you are greeted to a whole fucking shit site. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fucking shit site. Oh, yeah, you, you, you <laughs> uh, greeted to uh, a massive, 
a battle. What you actually see happening is um, the statue of Anam, and I'm trying to move you guys over. You seem to be up. Uh, the statue of Anam atop it lies an immense blue dragon. Uh, oh, you see uh... that she <laughs> she is raining down lightning on uh, what's his name? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> On uh, Harshneck, Harshneck, Harshneck oh, right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, who God. is fending off numerous uh, gargoyles? Uh, you see that he is fighting, swinging with all his damnness. When you guys appear out of the archway, he immediately notices you and he says, "Get out of here! Run for your lives!" And uh, you see that the dragon, upon seeing you, just like unfurls her wings, and as she does so, you can see that she appears ancient in appearance. Um, you can't even tell that really that she's female or not, but you do notice that her scales are interspersed with patches of stone, and you notice that any blue scales that are upon her seem to ha be etched in glowing golden ruins. Uh, runes. Mm -hmm. I keep saying runes. Runes. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of it, like I said, the room is um, like scorched everywhere. There's 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 even more cracks in the ground and floor, and there's just like maybe know, like two dozen uh, gargoyles just completely like raping Harshnag right now. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> they're just like they're like all over him. Like he's bleeding everywhere. He looks seriously seriously fucked up. And what he's doing um, seems to be not attacking. Uh, like, he's trying to defend himself, obviously, against the gargoyles, from what you can tell. But he is actually using his axe to hit the Statue of Anam. He is chopping away at it like it's some sort of redwood tree. He's trying to break it so that the... the... All right. Initiative. <laughs> so that the floor breaks. <laughs> I'm not going to bother putting the uh, gargoyles in. Oh, fuck. Because there's just so many of them. Oh shit! <laughs> so make sure All you right. click your character. Good. All right, you half speed bitches. Oh god, <laughs> I haven't rolled well this session. Oh shit! Don't worry, Thornbro, you're after me. <laughs> I won. That's all right. Thornbro's not moving fast. You're still full. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh fuck! Start dimensioning door people out of here. Is the door open? Then I take it. Yes. Yeah. So the door beyond is open. See that somehow, maybe perhaps when you entered into the uh, chamber, uh, it opened and Parshnag got inside, or some other, some other event must have happened while you were gone, uh, because it's obvious that uh, this place is much different than obviously when you left it. All right, um, I can put down one Wait. gargoyle. Got to use the conches to get the fuck out of here. That's a good idea. I think we definitely should fucking. Can we uh... grab Harshnag too? But we need Zephyros's tower because flying castles are awesome. Fuck yeah, right. We true. gotta run outside. We can't just teleport out. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, well, this is where you guys currently are on the map. Uh. uh... Mm. So uh, I will. Go to Belfrian first. You are first up, my friend. Oh, grief. This is a big room. All right. Um, I'm just going to move and move again. Move and dash as far as I can make it. <clears throat> Going around, skirting around the... the Middle battle, trying to make it to the door. Uh, that's that's it. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Um. So I'm gonna go to Kareem then. Uh. I will follow Belfrian. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Wait, you have three <laughs> points of exhaustion, so you're, you're doing all that. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that 60 feet? Mm. Yep. Is it? No, it's 30 These feet. These squares are weird. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll fix that real quick. Okay. I'll take a dodge action. The end. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. The roller should be fixed now. Okay. So now we're at uh, at, at Zorana. So two two of you guys obviously to the left trying to skirt around these dudes. Uh. I wish we had battle music. It'd be pretty epic. But there's no really other, any other. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have I don't have any means of giving you. Guys, uh... So <laughs> feel free to pick something from YouTube. <laughs> uh, um, I can I can dash as a bonus action, but I still am at. Aren't we? Wait. So what is the two points of exhaustion then? Uh, I'll put it. I'll put it in chat if you need it. Yeah, it's half movement and disadvantage on ability checks. Okay, so then if I use my dash, then I can move 30 feet. <laughs> yep. Yes, okay. Uh, I don't want to be that close. <laughs> and that's my bonus actions. So I will uh, also dodge. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, that will move on then to Winter. Winter can pick somebody up. Cause he has full everything. <laughs> All right, who who wants a ride? Who wants a ride? Look. Y'all look like you need rides. <laughs> uh, my bow bar is small enough. Emmett could also get on winter. Oh, gods! I just wanted to show you a quick picture. That's all. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. pretty fucking cool. Yes. Let's ask if I want to fight a kraken for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, winter is done. Uh, Winter is going to try and see if he can pick up Balabar and or Emin. I don't know if he can pick okay. up two people. Uh, well, it's normally not the mounting rules, but uh, yeah. you can ready an action for somebody to mount you and then move. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be fine. So, he was... so just to recap in terms of who has exhaustion, we have a... Uh, Cream with three, Thornburn with three, Emin with three, Balabar with two, Zorana with two, and Belfry with one. Yep. Oh, that's Winter true, then I used a dash action to get to where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He never yeah. dodged. Yeah. I never dodged then. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, uh, Winter's got zero. So mm -hmm. Winter's right now the best movement. Have Winter just keep going. Don't worry about us. Uh, yeah. I am Winter and Belfry. partially worried, so... You can mount him if you want. I can get out of here before any of you. Okay, <laughs> but okay. well then, Emin. Okay, whoever. Okay, so uh, that being said, uh, was Winter readying then? To... Yeah. You'll... Right? Okay. You ready? Well, Imrith goes. Um, she does not look pleased. Uh, you see that she starts charging up a her... Um, uh, breath of lightning as you now notice that there's a bright blue uh, lightning like glow in the center of her chest and then she directs it directly down onto Harsnag in an attempt to blast them on the spot uh, let's see here it's a damage uh, let me just roll that real quick and then Harsnag's gotta make a save So it looks like we're all fleeing and we're leaving Harsh Knight to die. Is that the gist of it? I mean, he told us to do that. <laughs> yep, yep, that's no. what it would seem like. I'm just checking. Uh, okay. Well, I ran you do to the restroom that... while you are doing that, so I just wanted to make oh, sure I didn't miss <laughs> Yeah, Harsh Nag, uh fails the fails the blow and he like looks really seriously fucked up, but surprisingly still up and alive. We need uh, to get that ring from him so that the giants don't get it. Uh, it, it, it'll be safe with the dragon. <laughs> Dragons and giants are not friends. Yeah, you don't think he, he's gonna be able to take maybe one more hit? Uh, dragon's done. Uh, we'll go to the gargoyles who are 
just ripping an entire snag apart. Uh, you do notice that one of the gargoyles does split off and uh, gets next to the three of you fleeing to the south and in an attempt to rip you down. So I'm going to attack some random person here. I'm going to roll a d6. Uh, going from left to right. Or we'll roll a d3. Assuming that the roller works. Okay, so it mm. looks like, uh, Zerana, you're being attacked by a Gargawa. Yes. Yeah, so it moves up to you and tries to bite and claw you. You're dodging, right? Yes, I am dodging. Alright, good. That's very good, because you're dodging, uh, both attacks will miss you. Cool. Um, as you are able to, you know, duck under the blows and try to fend it off of you as best as possible. Harshneg raises up his axe and he takes another swing at the statue of Anam in the center of the room. When he does so, you see more cracks appear all around uh, the floor. Uh, they start to, uh, to shimmy up the walls like in a, you know, almost like a lightning bolt type of pattern. You see that the room shakes tremendously and it almost uh, topples everybody to their feet. Um, fortunately, you guys do not need to make a save or anything like that. Um, against being knocked prone, but you do see that some rubble does begin to fall from the ceiling. Oh, and I'm going to need uh, dexterity saving throws from everybody, please. Uh... Oh, uh, disadvantage for me, Kareem, and <laughs> Oh wait, please don't kill oh, yeah. me. Oh, God. What'd you just say? <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Oh. oh. We are awesome like roll. <laughs> oh, man. So, Gosh, that's uh, a rock in my face. Yeah, everybody who is... Uh, <laughs> everybody who's not Zorana will take uh, 13 damage. 13 bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh he's good. Yeah, Zorana, you're good. You avoid it completely. So if you pass the save, you don't take any. All right, that was on Harshnag's turn. We're at Emin. All right, so I'll move 15 and then use my uh, rune ability to fly 20. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to fly. Fuck it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, how far off the ground are you? This room's 100 feet tall. I land on the ground. It's oh, to okay. get the additional five feet of movement. Okay, just be aware that you're next to a gargoyle. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so we're going to be at uh, Orla. And for my bonus, I'm going to inspire Harshtag. Get him, big guy. <laughs> okay. Punch okay. it right in the eye. Nice. Throw like a couple. Uh, oh. Kevin, you're up. I move up to Thornbur. Um... And then I cast Dimension Door, and I include Thornbur, and it's anywhere I can envision, see, or describe. So I can envision, see, and describe outside of this place. So I go out here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I will move you. Uh, so that's going to put you completely I out of the room. pull Thornbur with me. I'm like, don't, we're going! Don't, don't I have to be your size? Uh, your yeah. size is bigger, which still counts. Your size are smaller. It's so weird that they do that though, because then yeah. small people are fucked, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. But it's the spell does say your size or smaller, but Oh, look at that. Yeah. So logically then that wouldn't work. Also, okay. well, by by passing up uh winter, he's not gonna get his Yeah. Unless somebody uses their turn to go up on him. Nah. So did you still want to do that? Well, I'll i I'm gonna go out anyway. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, you're leaving? Everyone said they're fleeing. I was going to do something else, but if everyone's just working to get out and I can't bring them with me, then I'll just go. Actually, I'll go here. Outside of the room. Okay. All right, then you can move yourself, because that's, uh, that's doable. Right? You can see outside of the room? Yeah. The dead bodies of the... Uh, I can't move through the door, though. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. not letting you? Okay. okay. Just give me a second, then I'll fix that. Yeah, I do see that there is some uh, dynamic block. So there. There you go, you should be fine now. The next turn I can throw up a wall to protect everyone else. That's why I did that <laughs> instead. So, uh, okay. yep. I'm 
All right. Uh, did you also roll for Blinky? Or we're we gonna have him. Blinky in went in my pocket as a bonus action. Hmm. Blinky's okay. gone. All right. So Blinky's gone. Got it. All right. So Balabar. Blinky's not finished. dealing with this. <laughs> yeah. ba Balabar is finished, and then we'll be a Thornbur. Oh God. Harshnag. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving. God, I want to be able, in a line with other folks. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come. Not great. I'm gonna go there. No, fuck it. Yeah, I gotta go that way. So I go 15 feet, uh, and as I do. Just trying to, I see Harshnag trying to break this statue in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw a fireball uh, towards the back top of the statue. To try and hit the stat. Try and explode the statue mostly, but also try and catch uh, Imrith in the. You got to try to catch Imrith in it as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, fair uh -oh. enough. Right, okay, go Maybe ahead. Maybe it's not a good idea, but I just can't <laughs> stand seeing her beat up on Harshnag like that. <laughs> Not my boy Harshnag. We've come so far. Okay. Um. And. Uh, okay. I'm... So so uh, when you do that, uh, just to double. Well, you already said it, so I'm not giving you any take backs. All right. Well, so when you yeah. do that, you actually notice that um, some arcane energy sort of arcs all around her. It's almost like a bright blue, uh, like arcing lightning that suddenly appears. Uh, around her body she uses her reaction um and uh uses an ability called arcane feedback which counterspells your fireball but in addition to that you're going to take some psychic damage from oh, the shit. psychic feedback that you receive from it well okay. i'll be honest i was about to cast it at a fifth level so doesn't matter but, uh, <laughs> yeah but it's a fifth level spell slot <laughs> yeah you'll lose the fifth level spell slot and you'll take 26 psychic Oh god! Oh man! Wow. <laughs> hey guys, uh, don't cast don't cast spells at her. Not a good idea. Uh, you feeling all right, Thornbur? Uh, not great, but I'll be okay. Do you need an aspirin? Maybe all some right. Okay. <laughs> he seems to be all right. Uh, He's still up. He's bleeding from his nose. Uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, I should have done that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, you're not really sure how or why it happened. You just know that the dragon definitely had something to do with it. Um, and uh, probably looks like she casts her own spells as well. Uh, so, uh, Belfrin, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Mask Your Wounds. So, every all my allies within 30 feet of me will get 22 healing. Yeah, damn, that's amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And... And then, let's see, I got a gargle on me, so... I don't know if we should try and waste time trying to kill the gargoyle. We should just run, take a damage and run past it. <sighs> If you could polymorph, it, uh, never mind. Probably not. Where's the polymorph, actually? <laughs> um, I am. Well, Kareem's next to me, so I'm going to to try and continue to flee and hope that any hits that come on me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to take the opportunity to attack, so any reactions to that? <clears throat> uh, I, will, I will use my reaction to um, do my, god, what's it called? Big at disadvantage, uh, uh, warding flare. And if you yep. can you both I'm going to, yeah, I'll take my reaction to attack then. Alright, sure. Gonna, so, gonna, warding actually... flare, disadvantage attack. Okay. If that hits, I'll use my dice. Uh, 22 would definitely hit. Uh, does that prevent the AO from happening? No, right? Who's that going to be? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
What AO? What is uh, AO? The, the, oh, the attack of opportunity. What is it? From Sentinel, does it prevent him from attacking when you hit him successfully? No. He still attacks. You just get a okay. chance to attack him as well. Well, well I mean, uh, I can... I can do... Maneuvering attack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you spend a die. Uh, you add to attack roll. You choose a friendly creature who can see your hit. That guy gets to use their reaction to move up to Obviously, you can't choose Thornburg because he uses his reaction, but you can pick anybody else. I can. I'm going to pick Zorana for that, actually. All right. Uh, it will work. And then the uh, Gargoyle is going to take eight damage from your slash. And, and then uh, one from the dice. And then one from the dice. There's nine there. The Gargoyle is still up. Uh, mm -hmm. But you do uh, notice that um, uh, Thornburg's warning flare was enough to provide this advantage, which misses Belfrian anyway. Okay. Hey. Woo! And so Zorana, Zorana can use a reaction to move yeah, if she wants. Uh, move up to my speed? Half. Half my speed, so. Yep. Half of 15, so. One square. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to disengage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Save you the disengage. Harshdan got that 22 healing. Uh, to just in case. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's good to know. All right. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I want to keep them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, uh, so it looks like Belfrin, you're finished. And we'll move on to Kareem. I'm going to disengage and move 15 feet. Keep running. Uh. All right. Uh, you have disengaged and moved. Uh, we'll right, go to right Zorana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I can dash as a bonus. Again. Uh, oh, nope, too much. Okay, and... Well, I guess... Not really. Okay, right there. And I will... Why not? Right? Totally. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 18. For this gargoyle. Uh, yeah, 18 will definitely hit that card. So you turn around, whip out your bow, and. Harshnik says, What are you doing? Get out of here! We Stop are. attacking! <laughs> <laughs> We're slow! <laughs> <laughs> we have <All> short right. <laughs> legs. <laughs> Why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> because we just ate a whole wagon of food. <laughs> <laughs> We're just rolling out. Everyone's hobbling out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a big fucking dragon. It's just fucking scary. It's like food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, an arrow will strike that gargoyle on the side of his head, but being in gargoyles they don't bleed so it just kind of like looks like you stuck some stone an arrow into the stone uh he's still alive though i knew okay. i didn't need those appetizers <laughs> <laughs> all right uh winter is gonna go okay well you might as well <laughs> poor winter <laughs> no one, I'll no you guys one wants like, to Fuck you. no one wants to ride winter it's so rude well, he's gonna charge this gargoyle for shits and giggles. All right, go for it. Sixteen. Uh, sixteen will hit. Right. So it looks like you did uh, ten damage. plus your charge damage. Don't you get charge damage as well? Yeah. I that the charge damage. Where'd it go? I forgot how much it is. Two d six. Yep. Yeah. Plus seven. All right, 17. so seventeen. Gargo is still alive. And that was twenty feet. Uh, uh, come here. Hey. Um. And Gargo, uh, Winter's attacks are considered magical. No. No, right? No. Okay. 
Let me, let me add some hit points here. <laughs> so I just, I just remember that. A whole attack. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, he 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 kind of uh, passes to the side of the gargoyle, like whipping past him with his antlers, and you know, causing some gouge marks on the gargoyle itself, who t definitely takes notice. But you uh, you don't see that the gargoyle is like two faced by it. He's still standing. Okay. All right, and that being said, uh, let's see if uh, she is going to recharge. So uh, you see that blue lightning uh, <laughs> appear in her chest once more, and she False. fires it down on uh, Farshnet. Uh, Harsh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, Ouch. pretty pretty bad for him. Tumble. Um, he's going to fail, and he's going he's to take the full uh, blast of it again. Wait, he's inspired. Uh, right? No, I don't know if that'll help. <laughs> Didn't Emin inspire him? I don't know if that'll help. Add that D6. I don't think it's gonna help. He got a 7. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> uh, harsh neck. Yeah. Uh, another long. gargoyle uh, gets off of his. Uh, t stops attacking Harsh Nag to uh, go here and uh, try to take a swing at one of you guys. So, so left to right. Okay, so offer to uh, Kareem and or Thornbur, unless Thornbur's just going to fly as well. Yeah, Get so on this attack's going to be, uh, <laughs> this attack's gonna be on uh, Zer. So he tries to bite and claw you. Uh, bite will probably hit with an 18. Yes. So he kind of like grabs your arm and uses teeth to bite into your bicep. You take eight piercing, uh, but the claw misses you. It doesn't get past your armor. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh, Harshnag uh, raises his uh, great axe again and takes another swing at uh, the statue of Anam in the center of the room. Uh, more rubble starts to fall from the ceiling as the entire room vibrates and shakes. Uh, so I need Dex 37 thrust from everyone again. Uh, me too? Uh, mm, yeah, you too. You're, You're still in the temple. Oh. Do you notice this uh, hallway oh, is strewn yeah. with rubble? Yes! A disadvantage for me and Emin and Kareem. Uh, so, Emin, a 13 is going to still Ooh. succeed with a disadvantage. Oh, shit. Uh, that's actually the exact DC that you need. Zorana, you will fail. So you're going to take 11. Uh, Balabar, you fail. You take 11. Thornberg, you fail. You take 11. Uh, Kareem, you also fail. You take 11. All right. Fuck. Okay. So uh, at that point, we're going to go on. To Edmund, get on. Winter. Uh, he's flying. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's not really flying. He's kind of like hopping and gliding. <laughs> I'm like zipping hopping. across the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're zipping across the ground. Got it. All skipping. Right. skipping, 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 skipping. Are you finished? Oh yes. <laughs> All right, Balabar, you're up. Okay. That hurt. Uh, let's fight one more round of the damage. Uh, I'm gonna cast um, a wall of force. I'll draw it for you. Yeah, so go how, for it. how high up? Two questions. How high up is this dragon on the statue, and how high is the ceiling above it? Uh, so the dragon pretty much is uh, between the space of the. So the statue is 80 feet. Uh, the dragon's about 20 feet in height, and the ceiling's 100 feet. So it fills up the entire space between the top of the statue's head and the ceiling. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I can't make a wall big enough, is what it tells me. Oh, that's what you were intending to do, was cast a wall around it? Mm. Not around it, but just to block it to protect these fools running out. Um, <laughs> can I put it in such a way that I feel like it would be in between where they are and uh, where it would be breathing to hit? Like, put, on a, put it, like, right there. I can free float. It doesn't need to be on the ground or anything, so I can just put it. Maybe like. Uh, 10 can you feet ping up. where you want to put it? 
I was thinking I'll draw uh, where I was thinking of you putting it. You can draw it, that's you. fine. But how long is it? It would be there, uh, basically, is so, and then it would be uh, 20 feet up. 20 feet tall as well. Uh, I wouldn't I put it on the ground. You, I can't see where you actually drew it. Does anybody see it? I didn't, so I don't. No, I do not see it either. Oh, there, oh, there it goes. Now, now it oh, I see it. Oh, okay. So you want to put it there, it would be how far up? It would be like, uh, it would start at 10 feet up or so, so that way they can run underneath it. It's not stopping them. And uh, just to prevent it, the dragon from being able to breathe on Okay. So yeah. trying to like, block its vision? Yeah. Well, no, it's a wall of force. It's invisible, so you don't even know oh. it's doing anything. But it's 10 feet up, and it's just going to be a wall there. That's te It's 20 feet tall. So it'll be 20 to 30 feet, you know, that area, mm -hmm. just to prevent any electricity to go through from the dragon to hit them. Yeah. And if it tries to go down at anyone, it would bounce off. Cool. That would work. All right. Uh, I'd say that'd be okay. Uh, you can't move the thing, right? Nope. It's there once I put it. Yep. All right. So I put it on the map layer uh, since you can't move it. All right. And, I and then I move very, very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's one less because I moved the 25. There we go. Okay, good. All right, all right. you're done. Uh, Thornburg, you're going to go. Uh, all right, I'm going to use half my movement to get up on <laughs> Thornburg, or on Winter. Winter. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, Kareem, there you go. As I climb on up, yeah, I say, oh, sorry, Kareem. <laughs> I think uh, you, you both have three points of exhaustion anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, um, as I climb up, I'm going to just really subtly cast <laughs> Death Ward on myself, <laughs> uh, kind of as I'm climbing, I'm just going to duck down and real quick say a little prayer. Isn't it still the spell. same day? I don't know how long it lasts. Well, it's it's like, we, we were it's eating like eight for eight hours. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's gone. Can you just quickly chant, don't die, don't die, don't yeah. die. <laughs> Come on, don't die. Because that's what I envision every time. Don't die, don't, <laughs> die, don't, die, don't die. Come on, man. That's exactly it. <laughs> I like it. We're going to get through this. Get on the damn right. elk, Shinji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I gotta go uh, quickly hit the head, so I'll be right back. You guys can think of a plan for uh, what right. you want to do following okay, around. So okay. Here's the plan. I'm guys. leaving. Fucking run. Yeah. I put a wall up Don't to even... protect you guys. Just run. Don't yeah. even care about the, the opportunity attacks. Just dash. Hashtag 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 die. Accept it and move on. Run. Uh, wait, should we throw one of the conches to Harshnag and say, get out of here? Do you He's want the dragon to f turn its full attention onto you? Um, yeah, that's true. He won't. I feel like Harshnag won't do it anyway. I Again. Mean, he might. He's going to be dead before he can. I mean, you would have to do it his next turn. He wouldn't because he wants us to survive, and if he does it, yeah. he knows that we'll be attacking. Yeah, I don't think he would either. Bread. The answer is always yes to that question. <laughs> wagon full of cheese bread. I would eat that wagon. <clears throat> the wagon, not the cheese bread specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious wagons. Mm -hmm. Wood chips. <laughs> well, these cheese breads are conjoined into one cheese bread. The, the mecca cheese bread. <laughs> oh, I took just a bite, and I just can feel that it's too much. <laughs> uh. Do you have the battle music on? I have some battle music, yeah. Okay. Nice, yeah. very nice. Alright. Watch. Oh, did you link it in YouTube already? I, I did. Oh, I must have missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I see it somewhere in the chat above. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, we are up around uh, three with Belfrian. Okay. Um, is everybody moving? Moving good? No? Yes? 
Everybody's going fast. <laughs> well, do you have like a okay. long strider or something? Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking of summoning some owls to carry us out. They have a 60. Wait. Can they carry? Wait, I have a uh, long yes, strider. Yes, they're large. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, someone cast Long Strider. Why isn't anyone casting? Oh. oh, wait, I have that, I have that spell. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Good. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna summon some owl, giant owls, to carry me out. Um. You are pretty full. It might owls, take a few owls. plural. Oh yes. Uh, let's see. They are one quarter, so I can give yourself and eight. cream an owl. I can like literally run so fucking fast. Oh, you can summon eight of them, right? Yep. Or okay, you can summon eight of them. That's fine. <laughs> it's like the flight of the eagles from Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Owls just appear everywhere. <laughs> Come I on, think they drag. should be parakeets. <laughs> I don't know why that made me think of the music. It needs to be... Isn't it like Flight of the Bumblebee? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Flight of the Bumblebee. Let's see. Get yeah. the Flight of the Bumblebee going. Ah, perfect. God. This yeah. is perfect. Oh. Get them all. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. All right. Uh, let's see. Sixty feet. All right. Um. Harsh neck screams. Fly, you fools! No. <laughs> 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 Turns the hand out there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I gotta go, but they are going. Um... Yeah, you gotta roll initiative for them. The plot of the bumblebee is perfect. It is very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold on. Dude. 60 feet of me, so I'll leave a couple be behind <laughs> me just in case I need to carry in. I conjured them like 10 feet up, so if you're flying underneath them or running underneath, you can fly, that's fine. Don't go too high, you'll be crashing into a wall. Yeah, maybe not 10 feet above Balabar. <laughs> <laughs> be a bad idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! And that's how birds die on windows. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're all in good spots. If you can arrive towards one, go ahead and hop on it. Uh, I action, and then I will. Provoke as I move. Getting on the owl. Uh, owl. Yes, I'm going to move and then use half my movement to mount this. Uh, he could take in a that gargoyle could take in an attack against me. Okay, any reactions to that, anyone? I don't think we can. All right. Well, the gargoyle will try to uh, wipe at you with his claws. Uh, he will get a 21 to hit and yep. uh, do six slashing. Okay. He slashes at your leg. All right. Are you finished, Belfried? I am done. Okay. I don't think this owl is in a proper square, so you might need to move that guy. This one that I just pinged. Okay. 
Uh, and then uh, we'll move on to Kareem. Uh, well, get on the, jump on the owl. Yep. All right, so Kareem, you spend half. Did your I take movement. an action? Oh, half. Oh, you movement. spend half my movement. Yeah. So I still have an action. Correct. Mm -hmm. Um. Looks like I still have. I, I believe uh, with an action you can control the mount. Could be wrong. Hmm. If I can do that, then yeah, I'll move. move. If that's the case, I don't know how this shit works. Yeah, let Full me just double check it. if anybody knows. Controlling a mount. Yeah, these are definitely trained to accept riders. Uh, it has only three action options. You can move and act even on the turn that you mount it. Yeah, so you can use your action to essentially cause it to move. That's what it looks like. You can take a dash, disengage, or dodge. Okay, I'll dash. So how far that gets me? Sure, I'll go that far. Yep. Away from the fight. That's 60 moves, though. So... I have to go around the statue, I'll do that, um, whatever you want to make it do. Get all the way over. Get you closer to the door. Up here. Sounds good to me. I'll be over there. <clears throat> Alright, so Jay, you move the owl, I'll move the green. There you go. Alright, good. So uh, we're going to go now to Zerana. Alright, I'll get on this bird. Okay, on the bird, and... So, yeah, provoke. Uh, not yet, unless you're moving the bird away. Uh, Actually, yeah. that guy already already uh, attacked, so... Oh, so... <laughs> Suck it, gargoyle. <laughs> Suck it, gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> It's 60 feet? Yeah, 60 feet. That will take us there. Oh. Alright, so make sure you, you move the owl for her, Jay. Certainly. Okay, and then that will put us with uh, Thornbor, who's currently mounted on Winter. Winter can dash. Well, it's Winter's. 50 feet. Uh so, yeah, I'm, I'm not sorry. controlling it's Winter. It's Winter's yeah. turn. Oh, That's what oh okay. he does his thing. Oh, yeah, okay. so if he's going to dash and move, he can move up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You just got to go yep. under the wall of force. <laughs> yep. Boom. Boom. I'll duck. <laughs> yeah, and Jay, this uh, giant owl should be with. Where did, Over where here. the hell did Winter just go? Over here. Oh, there you go. Oh, yep, right. perfect. Yeah. All right, good. That's good. Uh, so Emirates gonna go. Let's see. Let's see if her thing recharges. It does not recharge. Okay. So let's see what she is capable of. Harsh nag. Well, she ain't stupid, so she ain't going down to him, but. Uh, it does look like um, <clears throat> she starts to move her arms. You know, these are real dragons, so they have like four limbs, right? Mm -hmm. So she starts to move her arms as if she's casting a spell, and it almost looks like some arcane magic is coming off of the uh, runes that are on her individual scales, those golden runes that I described. And it starts to weave itself into these beams of raw magical energy, and she fires all three of them at... Uh, I counterspell it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? <laughs> you don't even know what level that spells at. Doesn't matter. Depends how I roll. I'll try to counterspell it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really a spell. It looks like it's something oh. that's coming. I like it doesn't, it doesn't look like a spell at all. It looks like some innate power of hers. Mm. Um, and she a counterspell. Using, she's using <laughs> it to attack uh, Harsh Tank. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see here if uh, these hit. Just give me a second. Magic missile. Magic missile. 
<laughs> no, they're they're not magic missiles. Just being clear. It's a super magic missiles. Super ultra dragon magic missiles. <laughs> it's getting more exciting by the second. <laughs> this is flight of the. We'll never Vegas. forget you, harsh mag. Whoa, whoever's scratching the uh, the mic there. Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> looks like Harshnag is going to get hit by, by uh, all of them. Uh, he looks like he's Good in job. pretty bad shape. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he's barely on his last legs, but he's still up. No. Alright, good. Uh, so one of the Gargos is going to split off of attacking him, and it's going to go for the nearest uh, dude, which is Emin. Uh, so he moves, uh, sw swoops down on him, and, and then tries to bite and claw him. Get fucked, you inanimate object. Uh, his bite misses as you duck under that. A claw goes for your back, and he gets AC 18. Nope, I yelled at it. I told it no. Okay. Uh, is this really an 18 miss, or did you have to use a reaction? Or no, no, that was the reaction to make it miss. Okay. No. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're doing your bardic inspiration and giving him a penalty of minus three. So 15 will miss, correct. All right, good. Uh, so we are at Giant Owls. Uh, hit the gargoyles, distract the gargoyles. <laughs> Fuck the gargoyles, pick me up and carry me. <laughs> <laughs> Try some. 60. Don't fly too high. <laughs> yeah, because don't forget, there may be rubble next turn. That's what I meant. Sure. No, might be the one that I go face first into the invisible wall. Force. That'd be amazing. <laughs> like, just make that sliding sound down the glass window. <laughs> As the floor collapses, you go with it. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. I'll survive that. It's just, you know, getting out of here, not so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty damn hurt too, actually. I have 75 HP. Oh, I'm at half my hit points. <laughs> Just from the falling rubble. <laughs> yep, me too. <laughs> hey, wizards. <laughs> oh no, wait, I'm at 64 HP. I thought. See, what you should have done was you should have made the, uh, the wall of force uh, parallel to the ground. So then it'd just be like this, uh... A bridge? No, kind of like a ceiling. So that I way the rubble couldn't, couldn't hit you. Uh, I thought about uh, that, yeah. but my bigger concern was Harshnag. I thought Harshnag was going to die, and the dragon was going to turn against them. So I was trying to build a, a buffer engine. It was a cool well, move. Well, you I may like get it. your wish next turn, so... <laughs> we'll see. Uh -oh. I'll be out of the building at that time, but that's nice. <laughs> So to swoop in and grab Emin is a uh, action of some sort, a grab? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, it'd be a willing grapple, so um, you know, assuming that Emin's okay with that. Get me, you big flying feather duster! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I mean, he can grab him and then continue to move, uh, be just part of his move. Swoop in. Yeah. That's, I think, uh, 15 feet, right? 15 or yep. 10 feet? I think it's 10 uh, feet, actually. Uh, so I gotta fly low, right? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta swoop underneath the wall of force because it's ten feet off the ground, and then. Uh, I mean, not that you it. see it at all, but yeah. yeah. Fly casual. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it quickly. <laughs> we'll get to here. <laughs> all right, so just make sure that you move yourself in it. Yep. Yep. And. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Yep. Thanks, Balfrid. Oh, that gargoyle will take a swipe at the uh, giant owl. Unless there's reactions. It has flyby. The owl doesn't provoke attacks Ooh. while it flies out of an enemy's reach. Oh, All right. Yeah. But Emin doesn't, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, that's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> Fuck it, Emin. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you get not an owl, Emin? <laughs> so, Emin, you do get clawed. AC 20 for 5 slashing. 
You got that? What are we opening? Nothing. It's more cheese bread. Or, no. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Share. Share. No. <laughs> looks like an ice cream bar. All right. So uh, are are the owls done? Yeah, I'm not going to bother moving them. <laughs> They're just going to hang out there and defend our escape <laughs> unless so no, somebody needs to rise. So no, none of the owls actually uh, got Balbar, just to be clear? Yeah. Fuck What's that, that? Guy. <laughs> none of the owls <laughs> none of the owls picked up Balabar just to be just have one go pick him up Balabar oh oh yeah <laughs> oh that guy <laughs> alright let's see oops I'm that's too big claimed, they can't claimed. pick me up <gasps> this one's not claimed he's kinda close so he'll come and grab Uh, Alright, good. Yep. So, so you managed to pick him up. Got it. Yep. Alright, well, Harshnag's, uh, since the owls are all finished now, Harshnag is going to take another swing at the statue of Anum. Uh, it looks like one more round and that statue is just going to go because you see uh, massive cracks appearing all along it. And then you hear a massive booming voice in Anum's. Um, uh, voice say, you dare! And with that, uh, I need dexterity throwing tools from everybody again. I have a question. The owl is on top of me. I'm literally underneath it. <laughs> Wouldn't it hit the owl and not... Yeah. <laughs> Checking. Yeah, so if you're being carried by an owl, like it's under... Like you're, the owl's on top of you, then you don't need the roll. Poor owl. Poor owl. See. I do need saves so, for the owls, though. So yeah. Thornbur is on top of Winter, so does Thornbur block the way? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like like he did dodge it, though. He did, he did <laughs> it the entire length of uh, Winter. <laughs> He's lying down over it. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, We're good. So, uh, <laughs> I think Kareem, however, is mounted on an owl, because he actually got on top of of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The fly. fool! Yeah, <laughs> the fool. <laughs> no. So he will have to make a saving throw. Um, As will I. I'm on top of mine. Uh, yeah. Yes! So, uh, Belfrey, you're good, but okay. Kareem, you will take 11 bludgeoning. And then any of the owls that didn't roll a, uh, a 13 or higher, like uh, Owl number two, number four, those guys all take also 11 bludgeoning. I call the Owl that rolled a 22. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just glided around it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, record some damage there, Jay. And, and yep. Three of your Owls, four of them actually. Okay, so I think we're all good there. Um, we're going to move on to Emin. Uh, being carried by an owl. Going to continue to hang out. Yeah, you can use your action to uh, to control the mount. Oh, sweet. I push both legs forward so it goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. That checks yeah, out. So, so in essence, he's... Uh, uh, the, the owl will take a dash. So, Jay, if you wanted to move that owl, Aaron can move it afterwards. I think he's here. Yep. Dude, I gotta get me one of these things. <laughs> Imagine a grip. Alright. So, uh, Balabar, you are... You're being uh, carried. So, uh, technically, you're not really controlling the mount. The mount's controlling you. Uh, <laughs> I like to think that I'm a bottom mount. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's about 180 feet, and this thing travels, it seems like, 60. So, 120 is still going to get hit next turn, probably from massive damage as he finally kills... Or he'll die before he falls. We can so totally I... just fly straight to Zevros' tower. Oh, I'm, I'm considering, do I want to destroy the statue or Dimension Door out? I was thinking of also assisting destroying the statue. I think I might be able to get the statue. I'm going to attack the statue. 
Everyone get ready for more damage. You're welcome. Oh god. <laughs> uh, okay, so um um make me an intelligence check before you do that cuz you're looking at that statue, it's like in the midst of crumbling. Oh, hey. okay. I saw you at 23 there. Oh. Yeah, you attack the statue, you're probably going to doom whoever's in there. Who's in there? Uh, Thornbur, Emin. Karim. Oh, more than just one oh, of them. Okay. I'm not, but my owl hasn't been moved yet. Yeah, that's oh. true, Jay. You didn't move the owl, so actually, Thor uh, Emin's not in the room. He's in the hallway. So fuck it, bring it down. Hey, Kareem's in there. <laughs> yeah, but Thornbur's in there. Thornbur Win and Winter. Winter's in there. <laughs> Godspeed. I'm still Godspeed kind of team. in there. <laughs> Yeah, Zerata's in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, like, I'm like right there. Okay, so oh, that's right. <laughs> but my concern is, is that Harshnag's gonna die to the dragon before he can bring it. Mm-hmm. And that defeats the entire purpose of like what he sacrificed his life to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my thought process. Uh, but at the same time, I want to survive, and that takes precedence over everything else in the world. So I'm going <laughs> to dimension door out of this place, out of its hand, the the, the uh, owl's paws, everything. Okay. Uh, so you can continue to move yourself. I can't find you myself. Be. I think I'm under an owl. <laughs> I'll, I'll move you for you. I can't help right you with those philosophical questions, but, but there you go. <laughs> 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 These questions are too deep for me. And then as soon as I get out there, I go, "Fuck! I forgot how cold it was." <laughs> That's and right. I probably get another exhaustion. <laughs> oh my god! Hurry it up! Is, it is pretty fucking cold out. There. Hi you to me, owl. You will instantly need to make a roll, but uh, Balabar, you're finished. Thornbur, you're up. Uh, so uh -huh. Thornbur, you're atop of winter at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Wait for winter to move, but I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna ready an action uh, to cast a second level, well, actually no, third level guiding bolt at the statue. Once everyone is out. Once me and Kareem are both out of the room. And uh, the range on guided bolt. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I think it's. I think it's far enough. I think it's like 120 feet. Yeah, it's 120 feet. Very nice. All right, good. Good move. And, That's um, a very, very smart plan. And as I do that, I I yell out, uh, Harshnack, you're the best giant I ever knew. I'm the only fucking giant you ever knew. <laughs> I still knew hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I still look fat. <laughs> I don't really hate you, Thor. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he does say, I'm the only fucking giant you ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, we knew the fat we knew That's true, you did. You did. Add the other guy too, uh I was mean I was mean to him. I I, I deserved it. <laughs> How many guys did you fools know? Jeez, three already. <laughs> Alright, well Belfrain, you're up. Um, you're flying out of there, right? The important part is just to get out of the room. Mm -hmm. So yes, are you ready yeah. out of the room? Um, yes, I'm already, uh, yeah, I'm in the next room, and I'm okay. just going to direct it to, to keep going. Okay, and you're not doing anything else, correct? Do you have a long enough heal to recharge snag? Probably not. Uh, what am I, 120? Yeah, that's a lot. I don't think there's any heals that are that far. Yeah. It's 150. No, I no. doubt that. You, can't, you can't, can't even really see him, because there's a big statue in the way. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. I'm just flying. Double. Okay, well, Kareem, you're up then. Uh, I'll dash with the bird and get out of there. Okay. Bird. Uh, nothing else then, so if nothing else, then I'm moving on this. Uh, yes, moving. Uh. <laughs> Keeping the wall there. Wait, hold up. Mm. I just wanted to fuck up the dragon a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> well, once the building comes down on them, the statue, the uh, wall will still be there. Actually. <laughs> All right. Oh God, the wall is gonna block my spell. <laughs> oh, it's going to. Yes, you're right. <laughs> no, because you're aiming at the base of the statue, and it's ten feet up. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Almost, man. <laughs> That's a good call there. All right, so uh, Zorana, you moved out, correct? Uh, yes. That would have been Dash. All right. N nothing else, right? Yes. If nothing else, I'm moving on to Winter then. And Winter. Uh, and I believe Winter and Thornburg are the last people out of the room. Oh, Kareem's still in there. No, he moved out with. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not okay. happening. Okay. Oh, well. All right. So Thornburg, uh, you say prayer as as uh, Winter starts to gallop out of the room. You let off a a, a blinding bolt of light. Uh, guided by the wings of Seraphina herself, that strikes the base of the statue just underneath the wall of force. Uh, with that, the whole statue shudders, and then, like, uh, like almost like an ice, um, you know, sculpture, it begins to shatter in pieces. Uh, almost like in slow motion, you can see the whole room uh, dust begins to fly everywhere. Uh, you hear like a loud roar from the dragon. You can hear the final screams of uh, Harshnag as he's being crushed under tons and tons of rubble. Uh, the shouts and screams of the gargoyles as they're also crushed by the rubble itself. You're unsure of what happens when the dust settles and all of you guys have streamed into the hallway. Literally like, like some massive building has collapsed behind you and you're covered in dust and debris. And, uh, and all of a sudden, the cold winter air of being outside the eye of the all fire hits you, uh, along with the breath of what you've done and what your friends have sacrificed this day. I hate this place. <laughs> hey, look, a giant owl. I get on it. <laughs> Belfry, and have the owl pick me up. <laughs> well, at least he's probably about to teleport away again. I promise. <laughs> it's snowing. It's a solemn moment. You're it's not sure cold. if any of them survived, Harshnag or Imrith. Um, it seems impossible to you, given the weight of the room that was destroyed behind you. Um, and I think that is an awesome place to stop them for the night. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, they nice. died. Up, if, they, if they die off screen, they're still alive. You know, you, you can bullshit some <laughs> way to get them back. <laughs> That's right. You, that if you don't see the them dead, that doesn't mean that they're actually dead, right? Yes. Game exactly. of Thrones logic here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. Yeah, that was some intense. Good. It's some good memes. Not really good memes, memes, but. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'm glad we actually finished right on time. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that bitch is still alive. They kept contingency in. <laughs> <laughs> so is Harshnag. He grabbed onto the wall of force and didn't fall to his doom. Yes. <laughs> How long does the wall of force last? As long as I concentrate up to 10 minutes. Oh, well. <laughs> Hope we hear some. Yeah, it was good stuff. Thanks for running, Joe. Good night, everyone. You're welcome. Good night, uh, anyone who's live. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, good night. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> good night, guys. Well, good night. I guess. Good night. Well, good night. I guess. Uh, Kareem, uh, do you need to still talk?